Hey, Master, Master, uh, Master Blaster, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream, everyone. I've had a good weekend so far. So we're going to be playing Carl Franz. I've got an idea on what I want to do. i put it in the goal section of the description. Um, I want to try to do a really ambitious campaign where we try to confederate all of the Elector Counts by turn 100, which is actually very difficult to do and maintain Imperial Authority. But uh, I got an idea on something to do, so we'll uh, see how that goes. All right, let's jump in here and uh, see how we go. That's a weekend, Ben. Yeah, it's been good, thanks. Warhammer 3 already. No, it's Warhammer 2. When Medieval 2 live stream? Probably not going to be for a while. Shame you didn't start a guilt campaign. Uh, I was thinking about it, but... What I want to do is more difficult to do as guilt. I wanted to see if I can do it with, um... Carl Franz. I've never been able to confederate all of the elect accounts by turn 100. I'm going to see if I can do it in this campaign. That'll be tight. Yes, but I have an idea. I have an idea. I don't know if it'll work, but I have an idea on how to get an Imperial Authority farm going. Because one of the main reasons why I don't confederate them early is because I try to farm... Imperial Authority off asserting their independence, but if I can find a way to find another way to farm Imperial Authority, then I don't need to do that. Does IE now have a set release date? No. The green skin threat is it. Okay. So, we got to get through... A fair bit of stuff before I can start the Imperial Authority farm. Um, last time that we played Carl Franz, which wasn't that long ago, but last time I played him, we took out the Skull Smashers pretty quickly, and I think that was a pretty good move. We also conquered Paravon. Um, I feel like that was a pretty good move, because if you don't take out the Skull Smashers, then they just never leave you alone. Um, but yeah, just briefly, I'll explain exactly how this Imperial Authority works farm works. What we need to do is go to war with one elect account. Um, it preferably needs to be somebody that borders another elect account. Someone like Talabakland, right? So what we need to do is, let's just say Sterland is here. Sterland usually gets wiped out, but let's just say Sterland is here. Uh, or let's just say they're here, right? And we own Mordheim. And then we blow up Krugenheim. We just blow it up. Boom. And they're gone, right? Then these guys come over here over the end turn and ruin dwell it. And then I say, hey, give it back to Talabakland. They give it back, I get an Imperial Authority, and then I blow it up again. Rinse and repeat every single turn, one Imperial Authority. That's the plan. Whether or not that'll actually work, uh, we'll see. Big Barber did five dollars super chat. Hope you've been having a good day, Legend. Playing a bit of Cetra to get ready for the Southland Thunderdome in Immortal Empires. Cheers. Alright, thanks dude. Thanks for the chat. Um, it doesn't have to be Telebackland specifically, because they already start off with high um, fealty to us. But we'll just we'll just see. Uh, first thing we got to do is clean up the other threats before we start doing any of this stuff. But that's what I want to do. So I reckon what we need to do is try and clean out Greenskins, get them out of here. Get them out of here early. And then take out the Vampire Counts as quickly as possible by, let's just say, turn 50. I'll try to be as quick as I can with it. No peace, just war. Why do the vampire counts like you? What? Uh, I don't know. Do they just... It Begin doesn't last, but yeah. Okay. It doesn't last, but anyway. Now. So that's the plan, um, but it doesn't have to be Taylor Backlash, it's just got to be someone. Somebody that borders an elect account, somebody that I can just keep farming it over and over again. Uh, don't you lose Imperial Authority when recently returned regions get attacked? Check Imperial Authority tooltip. Yes, that's if you give the Imperial, that's if you give the settlement back. So if you capture a settlement and you give it back to the elect account, then you've got a five turn cooldown. But if you do it diplomatically, but if somebody else captures the settlement, you tell them to give it back. I don't know if that counts. So that's something that we've got to test. 
because I know I've been able to farm it before that way, but I'm just not sure. You, do you focus on getting Galmarez? Not really, no. Like, Galmarez is good, it's just a pain in the ass to go and get because of the missions that you have to do. Like, by the time I um, am able to do it, I've usually cleared out all the green skins. It, don't get me wrong, it's a good weapon, but it's not a priority. You know, like, we'll be fine without it. I should stay back a bit. So what I want to do here is uh, just try to get rid of the crossbows. Alright, charge on in. What's your first campaign for Immortal Empires? I'm, I'm not going to uh, say what it's going to be without having first played it. Because I don't know what's going to play well or not. So I'm not going to make any commitments to Immortal Empires at this stage. Once I know, I'll let you guys know, but uh, it's too early to tell at this stage. Hang on, I think I have Blood Pack off. You have to keep giving the order over and over again, or else units get stuck. I mean, they'll get stuck anyway, but the, the whole unit will turn around if you don't. So. Taking one casualty. Okay, this is pretty good so far, but we've got this unit going forward here while I harass all this crap. Come on, get out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Come on, idiot cavalry. Move, 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 move. Taking position. Go. Moving now. For France. Attack. Oh, idiot cavalry, come on. It's alright, I don't need to kill them right now. The fact that we got this one here in this sort of situation here, that was really good. We definitely got the upper hand on that one. Because, yeah, you don't want to be fighting crossbowmen and spearmen at the same time, even with Reichsguard. Not in very hard battle difficulty. Because you're going to eat shit if you do that. Want to try a migration campaign? Ditch Altdorf and head somewhere else completely unexpected. Lost or invade Wolf 1. Uh, no, that sounds stupid. Like that. Sorry, if you want to go do that, you go do it. That, no, 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 no. Reichland is not designed for that kind of campaign. That'll that'll just not be fun. If you wanna if you wanna go play in Lustre, you go play Hunts Marshall Expedition. That's just that to me that just seems silly. Really, really silly. Again, if you wanna do that, you go right ahead. I'm not trying to stop you, but there's no way in hell I would enjoy something like that. Come on, come on. You gotta keep giving the order over and over again or else they turn back around to for the one dude that's hanging back. Yep. It's fine. Uh, Mr. Sorry, the Mr. Progentius did a 5 euro super chat. Hey, Legend, I was wondering if bonus for... Bonus damage versus large infantry bypass armor or not? Do you have an answer for this? Good luck in your campaign. It's relative to what their uh, armor piercing and non armor piercing is. It just it just adds on to that ratio. Um, Kingly Knight did a ten dollar super chat. I don't always catch legend streams, but when I do, I give money. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Um, Chris Marsh did a ten dollar super chat saying good morning. All right, good morning to you, dude. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Sorry, I had to rush through those super chats because we're in the middle of a battle, but uh, I do appreciate it, guys. Last thing you want to do is just leave them in prolonged fight, even against, like, basic units. Just keep the harassment going there. Alright, that's enough damage for Carl Franz. He shouldn't need to take any more. Now I'll send the Reichsguard to go run these guys down.
Okay, don't fire any more. It's not going to do anything. We hit him like once or twice and he should go down. And you get Volkmar as friends. You have to build a temple to Sigmar. So yeah, I'm more than happy to run this campaign throughout the week if that's what you guys want. Um, I think whenever we play Reichland, we kind of rarely get to the Chaos Invasion. I would like to do that today, uh, not today, um, this week, if that's what you guys want. So, you guys know what you need to do? Dick pics. I need dick pics! No, I'm just kidding. I just need you guys to show up, that's all. Crossbows there, we should be able to kill them pretty quick. Yeah, we got this. Uh, Chrono sticks to the 100 NOK Super Chat. What are the odds you think that we'll ever get someone like Sigma or Toddbringer as his own emp empire? There's no lord. Um, Toddbringer, I think, is likely. Sigma, ooh, that's, that's iffy. Maybe. I wouldn't say it's impossible, but that's a big maybe. Thanks for the Super Chat, dude. Appreciate it. Um, I'd like to see something like Sigma, but I don't know how they're going to justify that. It, I guess it all depends on how successful Warhammer 3 is. I mean, I mean, in terms of DLC, if they, if it, it's popular, they'll just keep making content for it. You know, if people buy it. Um, you know, eventually they'll run out of no-name legendary lords. They, they can't exactly create that many new ones. So, eventually they're going to have to give us stuff like Nagash, Thankwall, um, maybe Sigma. It seems unlikely, but you never know. Uh, yeah. Since the Lord got away, we can justify wiping this one out. Yeah. Waiting for Vermin Lords. Yeah, I'd say that that'll come at some point. Seems like that'll... I just don't know when. Why didn't you shoot the general for the extra gold? Because he ran off the other way. Trust me, I wanted to kill him. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get him. We'll get him. Isn't Sigmar dead? No, he's stuck in the vortex. He's not dead. Will you do a duo campaign with Lord Marshal Sotit when Immortal Empires comes out? Maybe. I'm not making any promises for Immortal Empires at the stage. We'll see. Yahoody did a three dollar super chat. No work on Legend is streaming. Good morning. All right. Good morning, dude. Thanks for super chat. Okay. okay. Have you ever confederate all the elect accounts? Yeah, I have. I just haven't done it by turn 100. So I'm just trying to do it quick. Alright. Um, yeah, we want to try to get up to full strength. Do we want extra leadership? We don't really need the replenishment. So yeah, he'll be killed in this My next fight pretty food. easily. Now, did you know that if you play as Volkmar the Grim... It's not possible to get to Grunberg on turn one. It's just not possible. 
War cook. I will not obey. All right. Uh, should we auto resolve this? I think we'll be okay with an auto. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Oh, I got a kink in my neck. Your burgeoning realm grows, your eminence. Yet. Um, Alberts Vietnas did a five euro super chat. With Norska, we got Cathay, Dancer, Follower, and Warhammer 1. And then Cathay and Warhammer 3. We've had Middenland colored units since Warhammer 1. I think CA likes breadcrumbs. Oh, they definitely do. Um, Ready. they've said that that Toddy will have his day, whatever the hell that means. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have uh, auto resolved that. We did actually take a bit of damage, but we'll be okay. Um, yeah, I just want to get the most basic units. Get rid of this for now. Upgrade Altdorf. Don't worry about the minor settlements right now. Usually I went, um, I used to go minor settlements first, but not so much anymore. Um, in terms of what we should do to begin with, sometimes, yeah, yeah, we want to get lightning strike early, but there's also, nah, nah, don't worry about that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, what are we doing? Um, yeah, maintain public order. We don't really want to be revolt farming as the Empire. And Emperor. So next turn, we should have enough movement to stand an ambush stance over here. So I need to make sure that the Huntsman General has been recruited. Ready to go. Huntsman General, the land provides. And he needs this and this and that's it. Okay, cool. Bring me to my men. And we got to get Tyre Three Baits right away. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, because we want to try to ambush them next turn. That's always worked out pretty well for me. And hopefully we get a knowledgeable fire wizard out of that, although that's pretty, pretty unlikely, but we'll see. Um, let's have a look at diplomacy. I should have done this stuff at the beginning of the friggin turn. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Empowers me to offer you Definitely don't give these guys a defensive alliance, or you'll be dragged into way too many wars. There's no advantage to that whatsoever. Yeah, you're probably not going to get any more deals than that. Two trade agreements is pretty good. I'll settle with that. I think I forgot to build something in Old Dwarf. Uh, this time, sit in the high percentage area for ambush, not in the 40% one. Yeah, I know. Uh... Kingly Knight did a ten dollar super chat. Did you know that if you play co-op with two factions of the same race, any confederations go to the first player in the turn order, regardless of which player confederates? Ah, oh, that's pretty silly. But okay, Th thanks for the super chat. Ask Manford for three fifty. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Don't you use global recruitment for the huntsman for three archers? No, no, because it takes two turns. We need to move him this turn. All right. So if we're going to eventually fuck over. Telebackland, then it might make more sense to side with Middenland. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you could do that on turn one. Alright, I couldn't build anything. I had to demolish that one first. Okay, so what we want to do here is go like really ham on growth. I think we'll be fine for money. I command here. So yeah, if we stand... No, that's too close. Alright, see, that's 70%. So yeah, that's where I stood last time. I was at 45%. There we go. That's where we need to stand. Summon the elector counts. Yes. Then you bring like him the over here. Huntsman General. Advancing! Huntsman General! Yeah. Okay, cool. So, you just leave him there, and this guy should make the attack here. And, you know, we got a 70% chance of ambushing. And we're recruiting with this one. That's why we didn't globally recruit last turn, because it wouldn't have been finished in time. Do you think Cetra campaign will be way harder in IE? It's impossible to tell at this stage. Like, I'm not going to speculate on that stuff. I don't know why people keep asking me about it. It's just, it's just a um, start position. It doesn't mean anything at this stage. 
We don't know how the game's going to play out. It might it might be easier playing etc. in Warhammer 3. Who knows? I, I just don't know at this stage. You know, there's plenty of factions that have like, surrounded by enemies that are actually very powerful because of that. Um, in fact, the, the, uh, some of the factions that are super isolated have the slower starts. Like, for example, um, Krokgar. Krokgar is quite isolated, relatively speaking, Wormer 2. He's got one of the slower starts in the game. Sometimes you need enemies in order to develop quickly. How did a 5 euro super chat? I know you're not generally a fan of mods, but would you consider using Mixie's Legendary Lord and other stream to summon more elect accounts? I'll think about it. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Alright, uh, I don't think there's any more diplomacy we can do. Um, I've done what I can. Let's just move on. Hey, Tariff, how's it going, dude? Am I looking forward to IE? Uh, I'm not really thinking about it. We'll see. I'm not going to get my hopes up. But, you know, if it's good, awesome. Um, if it's bad, then... Oh, well. We'll just, we'll just wait and see. Ah! 70%. Legend put him in the thing. 70% chance. Ah, there's 70% chance and still failed. Nah, you got to do that. So, it's much better if you do succeed on the ambush, because that way Carl Franz actually gets a lot of experience. Um, but, you know, there was a 30% chance of that happening, and that's what happened. I just got unlucky. Time to smash my keyboard and Alt F4 out of the game, because that's just bullshit. Uh, White Slam did a 4.49 pound super chat. Do you think Campaign X that we haven't seen yet will be hard or easy in game Y that isn't out yet? Okay, thank you super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, look, there's loads of people speculating on on uh, Immortal Empire stuff, and I just I just don't really want to add anything to it at this stage here because it is just pure guessing. And when it's come to that, I usually have like really bad predictions with that kind of stuff, so I really have no idea. And I think pretending that you know the answer to this kind of stuff right now is is just silly, you know. If other people want to do that, that's, that's up to them. You know, if, if it's good views, good for them. But uh, I'm just, I just don't want to do it. You know, it doesn't, doesn't benefit you guys at all. So look, how about how about we wait until I've actually got concrete answers for you guys, rather than ridiculous speculation, and then we can talk about it. But between now and then, I just don't have anything to say about Immortal Empires. Why don't you play Warhammer Three? Just waiting for Immortal Empires. Realm of Chaos is dead to me. <laughs> I've gotten about as much out of uh, the Realm of Chaos as I possibly can, so I'm just waiting for Immortal Empires. No, no sense in like getting burnt out on, on the game before Immortal Empires comes out. So I'm gonna take it like with with Warhammer 3. I overplayed it before I even got a chance to showcase it to you guys. I think a lot of people forget that I played it for like four or five hundred hours before. Um, before doing any ac early access live streams, and I got burnt out on it. So, it would be better if I don't do that to myself this time. By just, you know, just take it easy. Don't, don't overdo it until then. Because, like, the game itself, Warhammer 3, it has, it's got problems, right? There are some really bad design issues in in the base game of Warhammer 3 that are going to carry over to Immortal Empires. So we'll just have to wait and see what changes are going to come with Immortal Empires. 
before we start getting heavy speculations and all that kind of crap that doesn't really provide any value. Andrew Matthews did two pence image. Is it worth getting Gotrek early as the Empire? If you need him, sure. Um, wouldn't wouldn't actually be a bad idea for me to get him early either. I'll think about that. It's a good idea. Thanks for the chat. Um, Odyssey did a six pound super chat. Would you consider Hellstorm Rocket ba Rocket some of the best RT in the game? Yes, definitely. Thanks for the chat. Definitely some of the best artillery in the game. See, this is why the Huntsman Generals are so good. Look at that, 104 kills at essentially rank 1, although he's rank 3. Uh, Big Barber did a $5 super chat. Was playing as Tehenna when an SFO and the 25% construction cost for all has been reduced to 2.5%. Vendor despises cheese, it seems. Yep. Well, you know, that's what you get with SFO. <laughs> you get reduced cheese, but you get other things. Less cheese to the AI as well. You know? Some people prefer that. Thanks for the super chat. Rather the handgun does not get shot. close to the edge of the map there we're definitely not going to actually it would be detrimental to get rid of him because um, there's no way he can heal fully but if we wound him they'll just recruit another general alright bit of damage to the front line but that's always going to happen to melee infantry Get him. Alright, good. Over here. Yeah, let's get to this too. Cool. Uh, what's the worst artillery in the game? Hmm. Worst artillery in the game? Probably the bolt throwers um, for the dwarfs, just because they're, like, not needed at all. Um, they recruited at the same tier as grudge throwers, and grudge throwers are way better. They don't have a lot of utility. They're, they're mainly a multiplayer u a unit for like really cheap artillery multiplayer, but for single player, no. Nah. They don't have much utility at all. Um, I'd say that's probably the worst artillery unit in the game. Yeah, there's some units in the game that are mainly used in multiplayer because of their cheap recruitment costs. And I think bolt throwers are one of them. Sniggish with full gutter runner army good, or is it better to have at least one non-stalk unit? Uh, full gutter runner army is fine, but if you can get, like, one really fast unit, that could be really beneficial to, like, lure the enemy in. It, you want two really fast units, because what you want them to do is split their army up. So if you can get, like, two brood horrors, use them to, like, maneuver the enemy around, that can be very beneficial for you. Today, you live. Okay, we just gotta hope he doesn't force march back into the city. Sometimes he does, hopefully he doesn't. Yeah, boy. Do you know why that's good? Because we get two battles out of him. That's a good item. That's one of the really best Empire items, actually. We are born to hunt. Cool. 
Get to it. Well, sucks that we didn't get the ambush off, but still good enough. Men, war calls. We should wait for IE to start this campaign. Uh, look, I'll I'll play the Empire again with Immortal Empires, probably. Unless they play like garbage. Um, they're not getting a rework, so... Why hold off? The only factions that I'm holding off on until Immortal Empires are Norska and um, Warriors of Chaos. Because Nor Warriors of Chaos are getting a rework and Norska is just going to benefit greatly from the changes in Warhammer 3. Okay, we don't want to order resolve this because we need to fight two battles. We got to get those levels up for Carl Franz. Not really. Multiplayer, they're also shit. Well, then there you go. They're just shit all around. Um, Chrono Sticks did a hundred NOK super chat. I've never been able to enjoy or effectively use Cav, and as a result, haven't touched the French. Um, is there some sort of secret to them? I'm missing out on. They tend to just get stuck inside of blobs. Yeah, cavalry suck. Just. Even as the Bretonians, I'm assuming you mean by the French, you mean Bretonians, right? Yeah. They absolutely get stuck, and they don't have much impact. Yeah. Um, Bretonia, uh, sorry, cavalry in general suck in this game. The reason how Bretonia is able to um, recruit cavalry into their armies and it be perfectly fine is, one, they don't have supply lines. Um... And so, so their cavalry never get more expensive, unless you don't get the required vow. And two, their cavalry is of some of the highest quality cavalry in the game. So even though cavalry in general are shit, they are the best of the shit units in the game. And so a good player, like myself, can actually build a cavalry based army with Bretonia and do just fine. So... Bretonia's campaign mechanics allow them to build cavalry armies and it'd be just fine. I actually quite like using Bretonian cavalry because, like, t uh, take the Empire Cavalry as an example. One of the biggest problems with them, and I've said this many times before, is their low speed. Having high armor at the cost of speed is not worth it in my opinion. So Bretonian cavalry have lower armor but much higher speed and they also usually have higher charge bonuses depending on what type of cavalry you get. Um, to me that's just much higher value. Which is why Bretonian cavalry is uh, so dangerous. Usually. When you said that Norsko benefit from the chains of Warhammer 3, can you elaborate? Uh, yep. Okay, so one of the problems... Okay. So, what are the things that fuck Norska over in Warhammer 2? Especially on higher difficulties. Supply lines being at 15%. Because Norska makes, like, fucking no money at, from their taxes, um, their upkeep cost management is really important. So, 15% supply lines just cripples them. So, in Warhammer 3... I expect that they are still going to make no money from taxes, but with only 4% supply lines, you can have many, many more armies before your armies become ridiculously expensive. Uh, another thing is that Norska in Warhammer 3 can occupy any settlement. In Warhammer 2, they can only occupy port settlements and major, major racial capitals. So that's another problem that Norska has in Warhammer 2, is it's very difficult for them to actually eliminate any enemies because... Um, Enemies will just constantly ruin dwell. Even if a settlement is not of high value, raising it to the ground is of less value than occupying it because you at least deny the enemy an easy way to get that settlement back. So those two things alone, basically being able to prevent enemies from ruin dwelling and having uh, cheaper armies is going to give Norska a big edge in Warhammer 3 because their armies are actually very powerful. Um, their problem is their campaign mechanics, and Warhammer 2, they suffer from it a lot more than in Warhammer 1. Uh, 3. <laughs> Warhammer 1. Actually, no, they don't suffer from it in Warhammer 1. So, even if War Norska doesn't get any serious rework, isn't really touched up at all, then they should be just fine in Warhammer 3. But they're terrible in Warhammer 2. Absolutely terrible. They don't play well at all. 
is, you know, have you ever tried to destroy the Empire after they've confederated a lot of elect accounts as, as Norska in Legendary difficulty? It's really fucking tough. Not because any particular battle is difficult, but because the enemy just keeps ruin dwelling over and over and over again. You can't fucking get rid of them. Uh, Mads Hansen did a 45DK uh, case widget. Hey, Legend, just curious. What are your opinions on Hell Blaster Volley Guns? Do you prefer rocket batteries or are the Volley Guns just not any good? They're definitely good, but they're tier 5, so I just get them really late in the campaign. Usually my campaigns are over by the time I get them, but they are very good. Um, Pershing Chaffee did a 5 dollars widget. Hey, Legend, sorry if this question's a bit of an oddball, but do you prefer factions that start landlocked or factions that start on a coast? I have no personal preference for that whatsoever, but thanks, Super Chat. Maxwell did a 5 PEN Super Chat. Have some pens. Pens is good. Alright, thanks, dude. Thanks, Super Chat. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, that's not that much money. I'll take... I'll take the replenishment. On March. Who's the most powerful Bretonnia Lord? Um, the one mo the best one to start off as, in my opinion, is the Fey Enchantress. But you could also argue that um, Luan Leonco is the most powerful Lord. Land provides. Leave no one behind. No peace, just men. War calls. Regular stegodons or engines of the gods for skink priest. Um, get both mount, and then just switch it out when needed. So if it's a field battle, go engine of the gods. If it's a siege battle, maybe the regular stegodon for the artillery. Uh, because Skink Priests have plenty of skill points to distribute, there's no reason why you can't get all of their mounts. Uh, Seleucid so in 10 Super Chat, I was digging through Women 3 files in the script that handles supply lines, and it looks as though the game has 1 to 4 for Realms of Chaos, and uses Wormer 2 supply line numbers for all else. So if that stays for IE. Um, yeah, well, that just might be stuff that they just haven't touched on in the, in that stuff yet. We don't know at this stage. Thanks for Super Chat, appreciate it. Will. But yeah, going in and looking at stuff for Immortal Empires right now, it's a, it's a waste of time. It really is. Like, Creative Assembly might just not have touched on those game files, that's all. So, it's just, it's just such a waste of time. You know? It's like looking at scaffolding and being able to exactly predict whether or not the building is going to work or not. You know? It's not finished yet. You know, we won't know until it's it's uh, we've got some build that we can actually play. I get that people are excited and want to know information, but the truth is that any information that you gleam from any source that you can find right now is unreliable at best. So, hitting the panic button. Oh no, they're gonna have Warhammer Two supply lines. Oh no, this faction's gonna have this. It means. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Speculating on start positions. Oh no, Cetra's surrounding by enemies. Means nothing. It means fucking nothing right now. Absolutely nothing. It might benefit Cetra to be at war with 20 people at once. It might benefit him. Who knows? You just gotta calm down and wait, okay? Everything will be revealed eventually, but like looking at a flag on a map means nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. That's why I'm not making videos on it. And if the other YouTubers want to do it, that's cool. Gets good views. It's totally fine. But it is fucking meaningless. I don't want to get your guys' hopes up by giving you guys bad information or bad speculation. We don't know what's coming. Um, a hero O one did a ten dollar super chat. How long do you think it would take for each major faction to do full map conquest? Depends on the player, dude. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Huntsman general. Like I conquered the world with the high elves in one hundred and twenty five turns. Some people it might take three hundred turns. It just depends on the player. Force to track. You ranting again? No, no. I'm trying to manage people's expectations. This is. This is what happens a lot with uh, with the way that CA market this stuff. They they give you information that's actually not information whatsoever, and then people get these ideas in their head, right? Because 
I get it. People are so starved for content that all they can do is let their imaginations run wild. I get it. I'm not mad at you guys at all for thinking this way. But at the same time, people like get these ideas in their head and then it ferments in their head. And they think, oh no, you know, Cetra's going to be having a big problem in Warhammer 3 or, or whatever. And then Immortal Empires comes out and it's just not the case at all, you know? So, all I'm saying is, you can speculate if you want, I'm, I don't have to participate, because it's not going to benefit you. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, sort of exploit your curiosity by giving you guys useless information. It's not what I do. I am Prince and Emperor. You know, I'm very much evidence-based information. If we have no actual evidence, then I'm not going to mention anything, okay? you got to keep in mind, it's it's okay to abstain from an opinion, which is what I'm doing at the moment. Will I get early access to it? That's up to CA. Uh, Ryan Newell did a £5 super chat. Still not as bad as Disney just revealed why Darth Vader likes sugar on his first cornflakes. Disney revealed why Vader farts videos. Who cares? Okay, thanks super chat, but who cares? It's, that's really not a big deal. Bring me to my men. Okay, so we just captured the settlement here. Um, transfer all of these to him. Huntsman General. So I normally attack Helmgard this next turn. I command here. But I usually do it with this dude. Check. Because of his extra range. Summon the elector counts. Get rid of that. We don't we don't want barracks right now. Uh, our army is probably strong enough that we could get this. But even if I do that right now, would bring me to my men. Yeah, we could do it now. I command. Yeah, he you. might get over here. He might get over here in time. Yeah. You know. Just, just to iterate again, you know, I, I get why you guys want to have these conversations. I just, it isn't going to benefit you, you know? Do I play chess? I can play chess, but you need an opponent to play chess, and I don't have one. I haven't played chess in a long time. Come, men! It seems Toddbringer sends his midden wolves across the Reich to test our metal. He seems to think that since my father's death, Reichland is weak, and we cower under our beds waiting for these Ulrich worshippers to save us from our woes. No matter how many heroic victories you pull against four enemy armies, AI comes back at full strength after two turns. Is CA going to fix this like it was in Medieval 2 Total War? Well, okay, for one thing, I don't agree with the premise of what you just said. That is not what happens, okay? It does not take the AI two turns to recover full stack, four full stacks. That that does not happen under any circumstance whatsoever. They definitely can recover. Um, are they going to fix that like it was in Medieval 2? Probably not, because yeah, in Medieval 2 there were, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, recruit pools. There's no recruit pools in Warhammer. So, probably not. But we'll see. At your service. Hand gunners! I will not stand idle. Help a It's possible to steal some of these artillery. Imagine if we got the Hellstorm rocket battery. That'd be so awesome. That's why I moved the guns back a little bit. If they were up front, they would have gotten attacked. Oh, it looks like they're still going to get attacked. Can you get one more shot off? Ooh, that was a nice shot. No point running back. He's got lower speed. Ready, go! To battle! 
Okay, and you start getting our troops over here. I find that that works pretty well. Don't worry too much about. Oh. Took a fair bit of damage, but it's alright. Hmm. This is probably one of the first times where I didn't actually wipe out the initial army straight away before they show up. I don't think it matters. Good. Probably want to run him down just for the extra loot money. But I'll get the Rice Guard to sort that out. Because, yeah, this uh, reinforcing army is nothing. Oh, no, I don't want Carl France fighting him. Have you ever had a chance to use the overlapping mechanic in Women 3 before it got reverted? No, I didn't bother. That wasn't that wasn't anything that interests me. I didn't I didn't really like that cheese at all. That's yeah. Shooting at him for a little bit longer. There we go, cool stuff. And we just run them down so we get more loot. You calling Grey Wizard? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, LF Graves did a two euro super chat. This action does have my consent. Alright, thanks for super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Death Wizard? Oh god, I hope not. Yeah, that's the worst one to get. <laughs> death, death magic. Oh god, it's not good for the empire. What's the best wizard for the empire? Life, light, and fire. Whoa, that's a big super chat. Adam Richardson did a two hundred dollar super chat. Thank you for sharing your love of the game. No, it's dude, my pleasure. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Ever confederate Marcus as Scar friends? Yep, yep, done it before. Oh, did we? I don't think we stole any of the artillery. No, I would have shown it. Alright, I wanna replenish. I see no other option. Alright, what do we get? Light. Yeah, I did I did say light was pretty good. Hang on, what's Come on, knowledgeable, knowledgeable. Eh, I'll accept discipline. That's definitely not bad. All right. My power is theirs. I am prince and emperor. I'm pretty happy with that. What 
the quarry. Keep the pace. Just wondering. This guy here. It's only five units at Isleheart, right? Probably doesn't have enough ammunition to take it on by himself. What if I recruited another lord? Another one of these. Two of them should be able to take on five of them. And that way Carl France can just come over here. Oh, but then again, I needed him to command Huntsman these General, archers, I command didn't I? Here. Hmm. Just trying to think what, what's the best way to go about this. Yeah, usually I leave this guy behind here to deal with the Skull Smasher army that shows up. Usually shows up really early, especially if you go in um, Ambush Dance. Uh, it's very easy to deal with. I'm just thinking what would be the best way to go about it. Um, Alright, looking at construction here. Yeah, everything's fine. Summon the Elector Counts. It would have been really good if we could have stolen the artillery. I don't think I've ever managed to do it, but imagine getting a Hellstorm rocket battery that early. That'd be so good. Uh, looking at diplomacy, let's see what's going on. I tell you, one thing that does make Warhammer 3 appealing is quick offers. I yeah. will listen, but my time is... No! Yeah, no. you do. If you force march the Huntsman this turn, you can get him to occupy the fort. Uh, he'll be able to occupy the fort. You, you can reach there this turn. Uh, sorry, next turn. There, there's enough movement for him to reach. It'll, it'll be fine. Don't need to force march him. I was just thinking about sending him to Isleheart, that's all. Because I don't think we can... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, just, just leave it. I don't think I will go for Isleheart next turn. We want to take Helmgart first. And then we'll see how we go from there. Huntsman General! Alright, I've done everything that I can. Which faction you'd say has the hardest starting war? Hmm. I can't think of it off the top of my head. None of the starting army, starting wars are particularly difficult. Should be able to reach Isleheart next turn. Yeah. Fight them. Huntsmen can definitely take Fort alone. Where next? By, by themselves. By what? Stalking in there. Huntsman General. That's interesting, yeah. I've never tried that, actually. I've never tried sending in one Huntsman in to just try to sneak into the uh, fort by itself. I've never tried that. <laughs> I don't think we should try it now, because I'll probably fail. Um, yeah, we can reach Isleheart. But I'd prefer to... Yeah, uh, maybe I'd try that another time, but... Maybe two Huntsmen would have worked. But yeah, what I want to do is besiege with this dude. Transfer all of the regular archers into his army. Tio became a new member. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate the support. Yeah, just transfer all the regular troops into his army. Regular archers. And then... I am Prince and Emperor. Get him to attack. If he's never revealed and he caps the square, they don't react, so just turn off fire at will. Yeah, but they leave artillery there. So there's always going to be a unit that's going to be there. Doesn't matter, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, I definitely think that that, that technique could work. Um... But I would need to practice it. I, I don't want to try that now. So I'm just going to go with what's reliable for the time being. 
All right, so he's going to deploy from this side. What if we attacked? How should we go about this? Yeah, I usually go it up from this side. Missile troops. Yeah, there's always artillery there, so they'll get detected. Alright, don't even fire it, man. Uh, Devil's Triangle became a member for 25 months. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Okay, I want them to go around this side here, and I want you to go through there, and I want you two to come over here. Hell's Gate became a new member. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the support. So yeah, turn him off fire at will. Just for the time being. Alright, just, uh, just hang back, hang back. We're not going to fire very effectively against the spearmen there, so I'll just move back and forth. Sorry, against the archers, I mean. First... IME stream picked out, or will you put it to a vote? Uh, neither. It will not go to a vote. I will decide once I've actually played Immortal Empires. Because I don't know what's going to play well. I suspect a few factions might play like shit in Immortal Empires, so we'll just wait and see. So these three here, I'm going to get them to climb up on the walls. Alright, move him back. Let these start to take some of that damage. And put him on fireball, because he'll fire a bit better from longer range. So when this is uh, broken through, we get that to cap the town square. Get rid of those mortars. Keep him pinned down over here for the time being. I'm not taking any serious damage. Reich's got almost through the gates. Who do you think will be shit? Um, I suspect the High Elves are going to be shit in Warhammer 3. Or at the very least, significantly nerfed. Possibility of vampire counts as well. Everything seems geared for the to fuck the vampire counts over. Um, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Kind of feel like Skaven are gonna get a nerf, but we will see. Oof, they're taking some damage because of those freaking mortars. Come on, hurry up. Oh, look at that. they got so many units there. Okay, we need to move more of our guys up here. Put more pressure up on them. Because there's no way we can get through that. Well, 
On the plus side is they're probably going to hit their own troops a fair bit. We should probably try to get off the walls. Uh, Ultimatron did a 15 pounds super chat. Thanks for all the fantastic content showing my appreciation. Love you. Alright, thanks dude. Love you too. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Shame about the new Vlad Isabella faction then. Um, I, I was not excited about that one bit. I don't necessarily think that's a good change. That's just lore people getting excited about it because it's more lore friendly. But I think gameplay wise that's going to be bad. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, no, I can't get through there. We'll just have to wait until the gap is opened up. Just gotta wait for an opportunity to open up there. Uh, Toby Bowden did a five pound super chat. Uh, Holy Jin, work has been so boring, frustrating lately, but all the streams you have done in week, week in, week out have been great to relax to. Thanks so much. No, it's my pleasure. Thanks for the chat. Alright, there we go, there we go. There's a... Oh, what are you doing? Come on, fucking get through the gate. There we go. Okay, get these guys here up the walls. So the mortars didn't do that much damage. Oof, is that gonna hit? That probably means the regen trade is gone. Yeah, I would imagine Vlad would be the default lord. So that means that you can't... If you're not playing... Yeah, basically, uh, if you're playing as the Empire, it's not possible for you to get the uh, uh, regen trait from Isabella. Because uh, she'll only ever be a hero. And you can't get defeat traits off heroes. Unless CA changes that. Which there's no evidence to suggest that they will do that. Uh, which is a bit of a bummer, since that's one of the most sought-out defeat traits in the game. And something I personally enjoy hunting down. So, and I don't feel like making Isabella or Vlad a hero really adds anything to gameplay. It's just lore. That's all it is. It's just, it's just more lore-friendly. Which is fine, but I just don't care about... Like, I don't want the lore to be prioritized over gameplay. I get that some people will, but I don't. So I'm, that's not a change that I'm excited for, personally. Alright, well. They've abandoned the walls. We haven't inflicted the army losses yet, but that's okay. Yeah, we're probably not going to cap the town square there. That's okay. They've had, they've had to abandon the walls to come over here. That's fine. Having an OP here is gameplay. Um. Okay. Yeah, of course it's gameplay. I just don't think it's better. Again, don't know. Reserve judgment till I've actually played it.
Come on, where did army losses at? There we go. Yeah, I'll have to do some testing about just sending in one Huntsman to go and take the fort alone. I'll have to do some testing with that, because that, um, that is uh, something that I'm very interested in. But uh, I haven't previously tested that, so I didn't want to risk it here. Will content creators get IE earlier? You gotta RCA that stuff, I don't know. Apparently, according to CA, a lot of people were complaining about the reinforcement buff and that it's too complicated for their smooth brains. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, what re reinforcement buff? What, the plus 15 melee attack for both lords or something? When they reinforce each other? Who cares? It's not even a big buff. Move in! Could loot and occupy it, but we want to not have to repair it. Okay. So, we leave this guy here. And we send Karl Franz to Hmyar, where he'll go and take out Eilhart next turn. And this guy here is going to prepare for the inevitable um, greenskin invasion that is coming. I won't be able to put them into ambush stamps this turn, but it's coming over the next couple of turns. Alright, money is obviously not great, but, you know, we'll be fine. Alright, I think we need to build some money buildings. Yep, get them going. And... Uh, let's upgrade Grunberg first and go, uh, go... Just go growth first here. Yeah. And growth there. Yeah, we got, we got money. Uh, Josiah... Streetman did a five dollar super chat. I can't imagine Nakari will have fun in uh, IE campaign. The high elves just seem like they have some hard counters to his fast squishy melee units. Um, maybe. <laughs> like I won't know until I played it. Bring me to my men. You know, like, there's no point panicking until you until you've actually played it. I'm, I think you might actually be fine. You know, having fast squishy units might actually be quite good against their low-tier archers in the early game. Don't know. Don't know. We'll see. Good legend, Sisters of Avalon! Yeah, AI's gotta get to, to tier 4 to get uh, Sisters of Avalon. They almost never spam them. Alright, so we wanna go growth here. Alright, we're almost done with the Secessionists, and then... Carl Franz will... What will we do with him after that? Yeah, we'll we'll need to get our ass down over here. As soon as the attack happens, which we'll see. Are you really gonna blow up soon? No, I'm not. No, I'm not gonna... I'm not angry. Like, I totally get why people are going to ask these questions over and over and over again. I'm not gonna get mad about it. But at the same time... People are sort of, like, wanting me to, to, like, just break and answer these damn questions that I don't have the answer for. And I just feel like I owe it to you guys to give you the honest answer. And giving you an answer that you want to hear just because you keep asking over and over again actually means that I'm actually showing you very little respect. Okay, sometimes you have to give people an answer they don't want to hear because it's just yes. the truth, okay? Um, and I get it, you know, some people are like, eh, why doesn't he just answer it anyway? It's like, well, I can't answer it, I don't have the information. I command here. You know? What are the chances that dude will stand and fight? Moving off. I think it's pretty high he'll stand and fight, because we want to get two battles out of it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there we go. Good. Good. Oh, fucking Huntsman. God damn it. See, the, the AI knows. The AI knows how good Huntsman are. God damn it. Such a good early game general. Look at that, 45 ammunition. Really, really good general. This is very difficult to deal with. Just got to deal with it. What happened to the Greenskins near Marienburg? They're still there. What do you think of the unannounced Space Marines campaign for Wormer 3 that will totally happen? Sounds great. 
Uh, for the whole day, I watched your streams. This is a Twilight Imrik versus Broken Eschen von Karstein. Having a great time, mate. Thanks a lot. Uh, no worries, dude. My pleasure. Are we talking about IE? People are going to constantly ask about IE. It's, it's almost entirely what's in the chat there. It'd be great if, if see people could um, ask about something else. <laughs> Alright. Um, going after this dude here, I don't see the point. Because the Huntsman Generals, they could do so much damage to us. We need this battle to be over quickly. Yeah. Oh shit, let's just go. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's only got Shem's burning gaze. He's just here to get some experience, really. But yeah, there's your cavalry getting stuck. Very hard battle difficulty. Spearmen uh, will trade really well against Reichsguard. Mm, says they're not obstructed, so they didn't do. Just ignore them. It's not worth shooting at them. Sometimes Lord Sniping is just not worth it. Doesn't matter if this uh, spearman unit gets wiped out. To battle! At speed! For Helden Hunt! Uh, Vladio Gaysa did a 50 SEK super chat. Something else. What is your favorite RPG of all time? Or better, top three? Um, I don't have a top three, but favorite RPG of all time is probably Skyrim. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. I should turn around and shoot this instead. Don't overcast it, not worth taking a miscast for shit spell. Colton Jones did a ten dollar super chat. Uh oh shit. Shit over here. Uh what is the first update you would like to see after IE? Um uh, just make the game good. <laughs> I don't know. Cross Do you mean which faction update? General. Um... I don't know. Yeah, sorry, I'm not even thinking about that kind of stuff, sorry. But thanks for Super Chat, appreciate it. Do you think Bertoni will ever get Regiment of Renown? You mean more Regiment of Renown? Uh... Yes? 
Uh, would you ever upgrade archer stacks into huntsmen, or just raise another army or archers and have a couple huntsmen if you flush with cash? Uh, huntsmen in the empire area is not that useful. If, if you're going up against greenskins, it's a bit more useful once they start getting monsters. So, I find that huntsmen are a very area-specific, um, effective unit. So, in Lustria, they're really good. In the empire, you're probably going to want armor-piercing a bit more. So, I usually go with guns. Why are Reichsguard bad? Oh, look, in the early game, Reichsguard are actually fairly useful, right? But the problem is, in the late campaign, for a tier 3 unit that, well, even mid-campaign, as the battles get bigger and bigger, it becomes more and more difficult to micro your, your cavalry around the enemy flanks because the flanks keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually what ends up happening is that the armies that you're going up against are so fucking big that by the time you get around the back of the army, the battle's already over. So it just they, it, they just become lower and lower utility as the game progresses. Cavalry is very useful in smaller scale battles, which is why it's good right now. But yeah, as the game progresses, it just gets less and less effective. Cool, I might be able to get that, um... Thing. Okay, get, um... Yep, yeah, get that, it's fine. Alright, this is what I wanted. I wanted that guy to, um... To come in... So that we could get, um... Like, easy battles out of it. What do you think needs to be done to make Nakai not as bad as he is? The only thing you have to do to make Nakai work is ensure that nobody can declare war on his vassal directly. That's all you have to do. Because when it, as I've explained before, what ends up happening that this is the thing that I hate most about Nakai's campaign. You know, aside from the fact he makes fucking no money and his mechanics are kind of garbage. His vassal is a gigantic detriment and like a beacon to which other factions will declare war on him. And since you are tethered to that faction diplomatically, you cannot break ties with it. Um, factions that are friendly with you, that you have treaties with, will declare war on your vassal faction and by extension declare war on you. So diploma doing diplomacy with Nakai is almost worthless while you have that vassal. So if you could make it that the AI will never be able to declare war on your vassal, then they have to, if they want to declare war on it, then they have to declare war on you, which means that they will check to see if they have good diplomatic relations before doing it. See, in one of my campaigns playing as, as uh, Nakai, I had a defensive alliance with Reichland. I was like plus 200 relations, something like that. And this is a live stream campaign, you go and check this. And then out of the fucking blue, Reichland declares war on my vassal, right? 200 relation, <laughs> meant nothing. Declares war on my vassal, and I, it just, it didn't derail my campaign, it derailed my plans completely. It was so fucking annoying, and I pretty much swore to never play Nakai again until they fixed that, which, that was, that was more than a year ago. Um, this also is a problem for Nakari, uh, because he gets vassals, but it's less of a problem since he can actually just tell his vassals to piss off. But yeah, currently with Warhammer 3, if you're playing as Nakari, you should not vassalize anyone other than Norskans. Or else the demon factions will hate you. See, I had that. I vassalized uh, an Empire faction, and then the Demons of Chaos almost immediately broke ties with me. They're like, how dare you have a treaty with these fuckheads? And then they just, um, yeah, they just broke ties with me. They absolutely hated the fact that I had agreements with them, even though I had, like, uh, like, uh, dominated them. Same thing with, uh, Katarin. I finally got Katarin. Put on a lot of effort to get Katarin, and then it just, it just soured my relations with all the demon factions. And what I got out of the, the vassalization from Katarin was not worth it, because she hated me as well. Uh, Balls Megalong, Megalong, the 20 DKK simulator at best and worst race if you knew and micro poorly. Okay, thanks for the chat. Um, best race to play, probably High Elves. You don't need much uh, micro to just sit there and let your archers shoot. You know, checkerboard formation, just let your archers do their thing. Play on easy difficulty, pretty easy. Um, worst race to play if you're a new player, uh, probably Bretonia. Bretonia requires good micro.
Yeah, and the thing is with the AI, uh, back to the Nakai problem again. Um, the the AI doesn't take reliability penalties for doing dishonorable acts. Like other like for example, if you break a treaty before, let's just say you got a defensive ally with somebody, and uh, you declare war on that defensive ally, right? Or you declare war on that ally's ally, which drags you into a war with um, with that faction. And you break the treaty. Your reliability goes down to very low. What ends up happening is pretty much every single treaty you have with anybody else will get cancelled, and then people will start declaring war on you. That doesn't happen to the AI. There's a double standard. You've got to remember, always, in this game, is that the AI is not playing by the same rules as you, which is why I have no problems absolutely smashing the shit out of it and cheesing, because it it, it is not playing the same rules. So, I don't... I don't play the same rules with it, in terms of, like, rules of engagement. That's why I'm more than happy to derp it out, because it gets so many ridiculous cheats in order to compensate it for being fucking stupid. And it's cool if you don't want to do that. It's totally cool. But yeah, I just... I don't have a problem with it. That's all. Do you think Ironbrow's Expedition is the best war faction? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think Carl Franz is getting a bit smashed. Get him back. Will rushing Marienburg be viable now in IE since the port doesn't expose you much to Norskins? How the fuck am I supposed to know that without actually testing it out, dude? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll test it out when I can. Legend, what's the best Doom stack in Warhammer 3 Mortal Empires? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I promise I will answer this stuff when I actually have information. It's just pure guessing right now. I can't answer that based on guessing. You know, when you guys ask me a question in Warhammer 2, it's because I got loads and loads of time into this game. I've played every single faction. I can answer the questions. I can't I can't answer the questions for Warhammer 3. I haven't played it. Bring me to my men. Okay. Yeah, this is why I want to knock that one away, but not actually damage it too much so that I can try to um and again, I, I get why you want to answer, ask these questions. I get it. But I just, I can't answer them for you. I just can't answer it. I don't have the answers. Okay, so... What is the best Doomstack in Total War Warhammer 40k? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get that you want to ask these questions, and I get that you're excited, but I just, I can't do it. I just can't. Uh, Ravenous Moose did a 20 dollar super check. Completely agree on Nakari. Uh, finishing up a campaign on my other screen. I'm literally at war with the entire map because I vassalized Kislev and Western Provinces. Just smashing interns to get this over with. Yeah, it's it's very bad. They didn't implement vassals very well in Warhammer 3. At all. He, yeah, yeah. It, it, like, if I was to play Nakari again, which I, I actually really enjoy his campaign. If I was to play Nakari again, I wouldn't vassalize anyone other than Norskins. I wouldn't touch the other ones. I wouldn't even bother with it. It just, it just doesn't work well. It just backfires too much. What is the least micro-intensive race to play? Probably dwarfs. But they're not necessarily noob-friendly. Not necessarily. Okay, so with this situation here, um, does these guys here go before the Skull Smashers? Yeah, they do. Okay. Huntsman General. So what you want to do is stand here in Huntsman Ambush General. Dance and just wait for them to show up. If we have a look, we can get an idea of the when. Empire, a land of they haven't trespassed yet. Yeah, get an idea of when they're going to come in. You 
dare approach a lord of if we have a look at the skull smashers oh yeah they're not ready yet I am Prince so next Emperor. turn this one here will attack Carl Franz um, I'm a bit a bit counts. poor at the moment so that's not great uh, action hang to the fight also be shared. do Giselle bullets also pierce infantry or is that trait unique to grain gunners I can't play Skaven in Warhammer 3, dude. Thanks for Super Chat. <laughs> Thanks for Super Chat. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I don't know if people are trolling today or not. I, I don't know. I, I feel like it's legit, but I just don't know. What's going on? Oh, Morgo. Yeah, How, did they end up getting rid of Morgor? They usually do. No, he's still there. You know what? I really wouldn't mind if um, Morgor did. Oh, I don't know. We'll we'll see. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. They're not at war with now it. What about Nordland? If we have a look at Nordland. So. Can't offer to join war. Greetings, my countrymen. You come in. How do you have 1,500 prestige already? Uh, I just fought a lot of battles already. Um, okay. Commandments. We need growth. So, good amount of growth coming in already. Who called? And yeah, if I can get to rank uh, four, 16, oh god, that means eight more ranks up, we can have a siege attacker that way in order to take out uh, Massive or Carl. That is definitely what I like to do early. These dwarfs, I've. They tend to be there, such dickheads. Let's so I see if I can get non aggression packed with them. Oh, I won't do it. What? Why do they care? <laughs> yeah, these dwarves are such dickheads. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, Brit767 did a 5 pound super chat. Sorry, 4.49 pound super chat. Uh, hi, Legend. Thanks for the content. Any chance of a Total War campaign before IME? Also, what do you think of playing in your first faction in ME? Thanks. Uh, no and no. Thanks for Super Chat. Uh, no chance of a, a This Is Total War campaign. And I I don't have an answer for you in regard to um, what faction I'm going to play first. But thanks, Super Chat. I didn't recruit any more units because I think we've got enough and I'm already in the red. Foiled. Alright, so what we want to do here is fight this battle but not wipe him out. That's why I'm not auto resolving it, so that we can get one more victory out of him. Is it okay to vassalize Beastmen as Nakari? Uh, I don't know, I've never done that before. I think you'd be okay. Generally speaking, you wanna you wanna vassalize people that the other demons of chaos aren't going to hate. So yeah, beastmen should be fine. But yeah, vassalizing Empire, Wood Elves, High Elves, Dark Elves, um, Cathay, those kind of races, anything that the demons that naturally have aversion to is probably a bad call. Yes, sir, right, what we gotta do is find him. There he is. Reichsguard can actually beat these guys up. Okay, just don't kill him. There we go, they can be. Moving now. Yep, good turnout today, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, I'm totally fine with people asking loads and loads of these questions that I can't answer, but 
if you guys ever ask me something that I don't have the answer to, I can, I will always answer with, I don't know. You know, I'm not going to make up shit just because you asked the question. So just keep that in mind, you know? And if other YouTubers are answering these questions, that's cool. I'm not going to do that though. Maybe try to sk strike Skarsnik with the next few turns. Uh, from my personal experience, whenever I've tried to strike Skarsnik early, it's backfired on me big time. So we'll see. Move any character to Altdorf. Okay. Alright, that's good. Alright, public order's looking pretty good. And money's better because we built some stuff here. Um... We can end the secessionist problem. I will listen. Mm. Uh, Kublai did a two euro super chat legend, the Jesus of Total War, Warhammer. I don't really think that's a good reference, but thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. What vile filth stand? Uh, Mark Oliver, the ten dollars super chat at launch. IE will have twenty three factions. Eight. T2 legendary lords, and most of those have been buffed up to War 3 standards. New start positions and mechanics. Why do people think you will know which one's best? I think they just want me to speculate, because everyone else is speculating, and they're wondering why I'm not doing it. But generally speaking, I tend not to follow what other people do. But, yeah, thanks Super Chat. It's just curiosity from people. Alright, we need to know if these guys Only here the are... No, they're not being trespassed, I guess. It doesn't mean they're not on the way. So looking at the Skull Smashers... Yeah, they're building up. They'll start coming over here pretty soon. What does the Emperor bid? So... No! We're not gonna get another battle out of this one. I mean, we'll get one battle, that's it. Now. So that'll get him to rank 9. Uh, we don't want to declare war on Marienburg. I think that's a mistake. That's Surely good that that happened. Agreement will be reached, for are, we not all sons of I usually don't mind if Bretonia gets totally whacked by Marienburg. Let's see if we can get non-aggression packs with them. The that's good. That's good. That is really good, actually. Really, really good. Greetings on behalf... Hmm. Uh, fighter 213 did a 5 widget. Alright, then answer me this. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Okay, cool. I, I know that there's like a Monty Python answer to that. I just can't remember exactly what it was. But thanks for super chat. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's have a look here. So, what do we want next? Probably small arms ammunition would be best. Huntsman General! Yeah, this is the problem, is that these guys here detect us while we're here. Uh, Helmgart's garrison hasn't fully recovered yet. Yeah, then we just need to get rid of this. There's nothing I can do to farm it any further. Moving on. That's good. Hmm. Uh, Srini510 became a new member. Alright, thanks, Srini. Really appreciate the support. Thanks, dude. Uh, oh God, what am I going to do next? I know we need to get over here eventually. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, look at this shit. It just falls really quickly. But the thing is, if you don't get rid of the the skull smashers they they get very powerful in the later yes. stages of the campaign i usually attack paravon really early on but we want to at least deal with this first army so i think what we need to do here is to start sending carl friends over here just in ambush stance we don't want the skull smashers to know where we are i don't need to recruit any more units right now if we add it all up we've actually got a full stack summon the elector counts Uh, 
Might be a good idea to reduce upkeep costs for now. Huntsman General. And Order if we're going to reduce upkeep costs, then transfer all of these guys the over. Because we know that they're not coming this turn. Forward. And I can use this guy here as bait for the Skull Smashers. Uh, not this turn though, stay just stay together. put. Ambush positions. Alright, then... We've got a bit of money. Uh, upgrading Isleheart with walls early is probably a good idea. Yeah. Emperor. Okay, we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, Gia Gajonson did a ISK 300 Super Chat. What do you think of the Wood Elf starting positions? It's exactly the same as Wyman 2. Thanks, Super Chat. Uh, F Gaming Rager did become a new member. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the membership. Appreciate it. Is there an ideal stack to build with Kyle in the mid late game? Uh, the Empire have no ideal army, so you build whatever you're comfortable with, and you build around what you're going to go up against, and also what you've got available. Uh, spending too much time recruiting is also very newbie. Sometimes it's better just to recruit a bunch of shit that you got, and just throw it at the enemy. Alright, let's have a look here. I reckon... Alright, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Alright, so... What we need to do here, if we just put Karl Franz in here, then they won't make the attack, right? This is why you got to go into ambush dance. Yes. So what we want to do is stay... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got an idea. I got an idea. Um, Pick up the pace. We want Karl Franz to get as much experience as possible, right? So, why don't Once we do this? General. We put this guy here. Advancing. Right, and then we what? transfer... Carl Franz's entire army over to this dude. Right? I know it'll be a bit more expensive. Then we just leave Carl Franz in Helmgard. Why are we doing this? When they make the attack, they will attack Carl Franz specifically, which means that Carl Franz will get most of the experience. Where this guy here will remain in ambush dance. He'll get secondary experience. I am Prince. So making it enticing for them to do it. So they should be standing about here. I imagine they're going to attack over the end turn. Uh, Owen did a $10 super chat. Uh, will you Twitter poll to decide your faction before the first Immortal Empires campaign? No, I will not. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. There will be no poll. I will decide what I want to play. Because you guys will poll for something that I don't want to play. Uh, uh, how am I going to get some money? It's more important to grow the settlement up. I don't think we're going to be able to get any gifts, but let me just see. Eh, sometimes you just got to ask. Damn! Thanks, bros. Okay, now, we could build growth here. Or we probably need money, since I'm uh, getting a little bit broke. Yeah, we should build money. Yeah, we'll get the growth building when we get that to tier 3. Okay, let's move on. So we just gotta hope that these guys here don't pull us out of ambush dance. There's always a chance that they will. Good, they didn't. They didn't pull us out of ambush dance. Yeah! <laughs> we can actually auto resolve it. Now we don't want to auto resolve it because if we do that, we'll wipe them out. We don't want to wipe them out because we want to fight them again because we need experience for Carl Franz. I gotta rush that rank 16. Cool, this all worked out perfectly. Do you not rush to Confederate guilt? Uh, what do you think I should be doing? To confederate like i don't r do it right from the get-go it's more important to deal with the skull smashers first um i definitely try to confederate guilt as early as i can did i miss some super chats sorry uh yomix oh i did too 
Uh, Rex Teresio did a 6 MYR super chat. Can you rank the elector bonuses best or worst? Not today. Thanks for super chat. Uh, Yomix did a 1.79 pound super chat. Arahan or Nestra, if you could bang one. Uh, Nestra. There you go. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. I got a thing for brunettes. And now Carl Franz is going to get really good experience from this battle as well. Uh, I guess we could put some guys up on the walls. I don't think it'll do much, but... No, it won't do anything. It'll just be basic towers, because it's only tier 1. What's the level 16 again? Deathclaw. Siege attacker, basically, without needing artillery. Oh, shit. Uh, just get him off the wall. Didn't realize I left him up there. Stay here. Okay, how about you move over here and we'll put the guns there because they'll do more damage. Yeah, get ready to pop down a net of Amantok, maybe. We'll see. Theoretically, isn't it a good idea to reach out to the High Elves and establish a defensive alliance and convince them to invade Britannia since High Elves are anti norsko Oh, man. That's some... Oh, maybe. Maybe. I haven't tried doing that before. Um, generally speaking, it's really difficult to get the AI to do anything. So, have you ever tried to do that? Because I don't think I don't think that would work. Because, well, the AI is usually very passive at declaring war or invading other AI. And the High Elves kind of have their hands full very early on with Marathi. So, I just don't think that they'll do it. Uh, you correct King did a 5 little super chat. It's pronounced Yuku King. Okay, sorry, dude. Yuka King did a final super chat. Do you still play Vermintide 2, and are you interested in Dark Tide? Um, I don't... I haven't played Dark Tide... Uh, sorry, I haven't played Vermintide 2 in ages, because I've got other games to play. Um, I am mildly interested in Dark Tide. A uh, Dark Tide. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, those kind of games are not something that I typically love. They're games that I'll play very casually. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> How the fuck did he get in here? Uh, I pl usually play them quite casually. Wasn't a bad thing though. We, if taking him out early is good. Yeah, that kind of sneakiness is a bit silly, though. I mean, the worst thing you could have done was maybe hit those mortars. But he didn't get a chance to do that.
Uh, Dungeon Mobius said an HRF 2000 super chat. Something, something, Worm 3 Mortal Empire. Thanks for the content. <laughs> no, it's two things super chat. Yeah. Look, as I've said before, I would love to answer any questions that you have, guys have about Immortal Empires if I had the answer for you. You know? I get it. I totally get it. I'm not mad at anyone. But I just wish people would understand that there is no way I can answer these questions right now. You know? And it would just be doing you guys a disservice by pretending or speculating when I just don't know. You know, it's better to it's it's better to say you don't know, as to as to like make up bullshit, okay. And at the end of the day, is this information going to be of use to anyone right now? No, it's useless. You know, what do you like? If I said to you, uh, the strongest Tomb King stack is now Tomb Guard, and Warhammer Three, is that going to be of any use to you whatsoever? You can't play Warhammer uh, like Tomb Kings yet, so it's, you know. Just, just be patient. Just be patient. It'll come. This is Garrison, doesn't matter. Uh, in my Volkmar campaign, Bretonia declared war on High Elves. And Eltharian invades in Bretonia didn't have to deal with Norska through most of the campaign. Interesting. I think you got pretty lucky then. But thanks Super Chat, appreciate it. How have they not got the army losses there? Oh! That's that'd be why. <laughs> They're over here. Nah, that's fine. It's fine. Gives me time to try to run these fuckers down. And that's alright, this is Garrison, so it doesn't matter. breaking this gate? No. Which means I don't think I can walk out of it. No, I can't walk out of it. Alright, there's no point chasing after them then. And these guys have left. But for some, including myself, speculation is fun. I get that. It's totally cool. But I hate speculating. I don't enjoy it. There are other YouTubers that speculate. You should ask them. I hate speculating. I absolutely hate it. I don't find it, find it fun at all. It's, it's just guessing. Cool. Hopefully they don't force march away. They're just like going to encamp stance. Usually they don't. They're just going to encamp stance and... Yeah, they just suck it up. Cool. So far, ooh, three grand. Public order in Reichland is usually pretty good. I need that money. I need that money. Yeah. All right, we just need six more levels up. There you go, call friends. Six more levels up before we get to here. Alright, so they'll have another army ready by the time we get there, which is why we need to declare war on uh, Paravon to, like, just get some shit done. The Empire. We have nothing to fear. Just think about how to go about I it. Am Prince and Emperor. <sighs> That's only 10 extra growth, it's not worth much. So yeah, there's a bit of bit of chaos corruption here now. Uh, it won't last that long. If we absolutely need to, we can pop down the host fest egg because I, I needed money. I needed money. Um, 
there's also this building. If you want to get Gotrek and Felix, that is useful for it. Um, because I think I'll up I don't know, we'll see. Friendly Internet Man did a two dollar super chat. I'm new. How far should I expand in campaigns? The answer to that is as fast as you are comfortable. If you overextend yourself, you'll fuck up. If you are too slow, you'll fuck up. So you need to just move at a pace that you are comfortable with. How, how fast that is depends on you. Um, Char Charodons Astra did a $20 super chat. Decided to do a Torox campaign because of your faction tier list, and I'm absolutely steamrolling through last year right now. Can't stop the brass bull, baby. Love the stream, by the way. Yeah, he's a very strong faction. Thanks, super chat. We Appreciate born it. To hunt. Alright, so these guys here, we want to get Pistol Corpse with you. Um, so, looking at that, there's still... Don't mind them. Yeah, corruption's gonna... If we didn't tax it, it's not good. We need to keep taxing it. Still, it's 11 turns until Revolt. We got we got time to sort that out. We got time. Okay. Alright, we need to... Oh, if we have enough money, we could get Emissary to the Prince of Altdorf, which will give us... <laughs> Which is weird because we're the Prince of Altdorf. One extra public order, but seven grand, whatever. Uh, wait, 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 wait. That gives us extra relations with men. Empire, Kislev, Southern Realms. What about? Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to don't that waste one your arrows All right. These. Huntsman General, keep the pay. Summon the Elector Counts. <laughs> By the comet. Yeah, it's Another fine. Hunt. Another trophy. Probably could have done better myself, but that's okay. Let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now we gotta wonder if it is a good time to declare war on. You dare approach a uh, Let me have a look here. Bring me to my men. What do you want? For the wisdom of Belaya. Can I help you? My axe thirsts for war. These guys here, they can declare war on you. <laughs> and if they do, it's not good. It's not good. Only the Grail companions of old could hope to best me. It's not good. If like if I occupy Montfort and they declare war on us, we won't be able to handle that and we'll just lose. It's actually kind of ridiculous how much they can recruit straight away. Um, what I can also do is set up another trap for um, Paravon. Get them to put an army here. It's tier 2. I guess what we could do is sack this settlement here. And then go back into ambush over this way. Try to lure them back over here. Yeah, that'd be best. Ready. So, I'll get them to declare war, and then I will try to get these guys here to join war against Paravon. I won't do it. Yeah, you can't trust those dwarves. Alright, we need to fight this manually. Do you think they'll ever update Marcus Wolfhard's campaign to suck less? Nah. Why do you want to occupy Bretonia? Aren't there only peasants there? It's actually quite wealthy there. Join war with them against Paravon, they'll like you. They're not at war with Paravon. We are Sigma Okay, have the missile units be up front. Because the melee units need some time to recover. Uh, FNB, FNBF did a £15 uh, super chat. Hey, Legend, any tips on playing as Vampire Counts? I like the lore and style of the gameplay, but I get beat down all sides on early in, on the campaign. Um, yeah, okay, so Vampire Counts is one of those races where I don't really like to give advice because my advice is super cheesy and some people just hate to play that way. So my recommendation is always play what you find fun. Um, but aside from that, I would say Skeleton Spam. 
Get the free skeletons. It's really, really effective. And then you just drown the world in skeletons. At least in the early game. Um, you can still do that even in the late campaign. But yeah, you want to rely really heavily on your heroes. Vampire accounts have like a fairly poor start, but they get super rich later on. They got a really good late game economy. Thanks, Super Chat. Are there any super rich provinces in Bretonia? Not necessarily that any particular one region is super rich. It's more a case of once you once you lock down Bretonia, there's some good resources in there, and it's all green territory. And you've got a lot of enemies over there to take out. And once you've taken out Bretonia, it's kind of safe, which is what makes it rich. See, a lot of people just look at the amount of money a region takes uh, makes and thinks, Oh, that's a high-priority region, like Marienburg, for example. But Marienburg comes with a lot of drawbacks. Whereas Paravon, for example, the only drawback is, is that you bought the, um, the Wood Elves, which you, it is possible for you to become friends with them. But even more so, if and if they declare war on you, eh, it doesn't really matter that much. So we use Netta Vamantok when they start to get a little bit closer. Uh, right there. What makes a province richer than others? It's income versus outgoings. So, don't just look at like, oh, look, there's gold there, therefore it's rich. Think of how much it costs to maintain a region as well. So, profit equals <laughs> revenue minus upkeep. And if it costs you a lot of money to keep a region under control, then it's not necessarily profitable. Or if a taking a region will cause you some other kind of problems, um, like Norska declaring war on you early, then that's not worth it. Cool. Zero deaths. Karag Ziflin, Montfort, double Sac City. We don't need Sac Cities right now, no. No, no, no. Oh, just thinking. What if I blow up the city? Then Karag Ziflin will go and occupy it. Another hmm. hunt, another trophy. Well, I got to get rid of this army over here first. Sigma compels us onward. Yeah, so I reckon what they'll do is they'll park their army over here. So this guy needs to come back over, over here again. Step to it. Let's go into ambush, ambush dance and Carl Franz. At least we're getting levels up. I am prince and emperor. Yeah, Carl Franz goes back into Helmgarts. I don't think they'll be able to reach me from here. But yeah, if we blow this up, we might be able to get them to ruin dweller. But let's um, let's deal with Paravon's army first before we do that. Because if I if they ruin dwell this and I fight them and I'm in bad shape and then Paravon hits me, it's not really good. But yeah, I do not trust Karak Ziflin at all. They need yes. to be dealt with. They are one of the um, they're they're one of the factions that the game will throw at you if you're doing well, which we are. So we need to deal with it. Any any armies that come in from the Skull Smashers will take a few more turns, so we don't need to rush that right away. And that's that's coming in, which is good. Yeah. 
Got a bit of money. I guess we can justify that. That's good. Um, we'll see if they want to join war against. Yeah, they don't, they don't care. Have we met Bastone? Let me have a look. Protector of the realm. Yeah, we have. What do Sigmar's sorry gets need from the valiant knights of Britonia nah, this time? No one's gonna do it. Uh, did we meet any of the Wood Elves? No. What mortals? Still gotta wait a little bit longer there. Yep, upgrade that. Okay, cool. Alright, so hopefully next turn, Paravon moves their army over here. Because their army is not a problem, I think. Yeah, we should be able to beat it. Alright, let's move on. One public order plus 7k tech? No, not right now. We don't we don't need extra public order. Plus one is not going to make any serious difference. I, I need to focus on construction. How long does the person have to sub for the green letter name? Or how much dollars? You have to become a member to get the green letter name. It doesn't matter how long you've been subbed for. Could afford the plus relations tech? I, I know, but I need to prepare for the uh, construction of these other buildings. <sighs> Shit. Your prestige grows, my lord. News of your conquests spreads far and wide. You're developing. My axe thirsts for war. What? The nation calls. My orders are. To... The Emperor! Hunters! All right, this army standing out here might have just given us an opportunity to attack Paravon because Paravon is right there. Huntsman General, move out. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can draw them out. You dishonor me. Bring me to my men. Huntsman General. We're there. Get the damsel out of the way. Move out. Stay together. I command here. Looking at the skull smashers, they're probably not ready yet. Oh, they're getting ready. We won't be able to get in here this turn, not unless we wipe out the army entirely, which will require an order resolve. It's a lot of troops to deal with, but they're all in force march. We can deny enemy reinforcements as well, which will prevent this one here from showing up. Unless I withdraw a unit. Um, Char... Char Charadon's Astra became a new member. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the support. I must keep my holy vow. No! Yeah. Okay, do that. Can lightning strike it, but this gives us an opportunity to smash these guys right now. Most of their army is shit. Most of it, not all of it. Um, we can deny enemy reinforcements, which means that some of their best units just won't show up. But it also means that the Reichsguard won't show up. Unless I withdraw a unit from the battlefield, which should be okay. We definitely need to check a board in this battle. That's a lot of yeomen. Yeah, yeah, but yeomen are shit, especially on force mark. Oh god, choke point. Mm, could make use of it. A rebel without a general did a five dollar super chat. Thoughts on Cetra's starting position being surrounded by most factions? As Cetra fanboy, I think Cetra's campaign will be awesome or hell. We've already answered this like ten times already. Um, I did. I don't know. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. I just don't have an answer for that. Sorry. All 
Alright, they're just taking a defensive position, that's good. Alright, so like I said, everything except for the Rax Guard will arrive to begin with, unless we get rid of... We don't really need the Rax Guard if it's a choke point battle, though. Do we want to rush up here? Oh, we can... Banishment! Banishment! Okay, let's let's rush up. Go, 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 go. Get up here right now. Okay, don't fire at will just yet, but get over here. Don't fire at will. Don't want to get them to rush over here just yet, but banishments are coming. And their artillery isn't showing up at the start. That's good. In fact, they don't have any missile you Oh no, they do have some. So yeah, don't shoot at them just yet. We need to get into position first. Uh, Duncan Keeley did a fi uh, $50 super chat. Uh, appreciate all these streams. Love seeing your various strategies with each faction and race to use in my own playthrough. I thank you. Now rewinding back to the beginning. No worries, dude. That's really generous super chat. Thank you. Appreciate it. Moving faster. So, banishment will cost us 17 wins of magic, not so bad. Yeah, don't shoot just yet. Don't worry about trying to waste their ammo. Most important thing right now, get into position. All goes well, we are going to fucking wreck them in this battle. Of course, if they break through, they might wreck us. How do you zoom like that in the battlefield? Uh, press N. Yeah, just tap in. Alright, so if they break through, we want to make sure that the archers get caught in melee well before the other units. So we kind of checkerboard, but we just rotate as needed. It's it's a bit of a messy checkerboard, but that's okay. What are they doing? Are they, they coming in? That's okay. Alright. Start firing. Those were just mounted yeomen, no big deal. Don't don't waste our abilities. You start firing as well. You Just wait, there'll be a good opportunity soon. Though that's looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Cause we'll get another cast in. Alright, Halberdiers are getting a bit wrecked there. Start pulling them out there. We're taking a bit of friendly fire, not ideal. How'd that go? Oh, I didn't get as many kills as I would have liked. Okay, another banishment coming in in 37 seconds. Oh, I may need to sacrifice my melee infantry to win this. We'll see. Come on, hold on just a little bit longer. Yes. 
Don't worry about their missile units. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I might be able to get you to survive the battle. It's gonna hurt, but it's gotta get done. Two kills. Yeah, that unit's basically wrecked. Send that one back in. Carl France is holding on pretty well. Actually, no. Pull these two back. Pull these two back. Leave that one in there. Carl Franz is holding out pretty well here. Yeah, get these two off the battlefield so the Reichsguard can come in. Move this one back, move this one up, switch positions. Because that one's got a lot of experience, I don't want to get wiped out. Whereas this one here, not that much experience, not that big of a deal. Need you off the battlefield. Need those Reichs guard to come in. Prepare for combat. Good. Missile troops. Okay, try to kill that enemy lord. I think that'll make a big difference. Good. Good. Crossbowmen! Ready to fire! Attack! Call traps! No, just leave that. Don't make him run back. Moving now! Alright, we got the better of him on that little scuffle, that's good. And now they're kind of coming at us in waves. The rest of their reinforcements are coming in. Damn, nice number today. It, this actually might be the highest number of viewers we've had since Warhammer 3 came out. So yeah, the channel's been recovering you know, slowly, so it's good. It's good. I'm, hope you guys are enjoying the, the campaign so far. Alright, damage isn't too severe. Good. Okay, they come in. Okay, you don't need to leave the battlefield now. Just, just don't need to leave. All right, now we use this guy here as sort of like a meat shield. We did use up a lot of ammo. And there is Grail Knights to come in if we have it. Yeah, there they are. All right, they're not going to be great against Carl Franz. I can. Maybe use a Ned and Ned Van and talk to pin them down. Okay, I want them shooting at the Grail Knights. Go, 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 go. Good, that way the Grail Knights just didn't get a charge in there. That's good. Carl Franz can't take on that much more. Let's move him back. 
El Matsai did a, became a member for 12 months. I have gotten over my CA fever and now playing Worm 2 again. Thanks for the content. No worries, dude, my pleasure. Thanks for the chat. <laughs> CA fever. Yes, yeah, very serious condition that. I, I've definitely suffered from that myself. Still am actually, I haven't recovered. Yeah, we don't want Carl Friends to be fighting too much more. that army loss is soon. We're running out of ammo. Look, the guns have used up all their ammo. I think I'm going to need to legit make a break for the artillery, but there's oh, fucking Knights of the Realm coming in. Those of you who have, am have ammo, shoot the Knights of the Realm. It's probably the last unit that we absolutely need to kill with our missile units. Okay, now we should get the Reichsguard to come around there. Got him. <laughs> That's probably going to be either a close victory or pure victory, but we got him. Whew, bloody hell. I don't know if I'm going to cat at them, but we can deal with them another time. Just get get whatever kills we can. We gotta thin them out. Bloody hell, that was close. That was ballsy. Apart from Black Hawks, how can I increase research rate as Dark Elves? Um, the, uh, the Sorcerer's Building provides research. Um, sorcerous Actions on cities provide research. Defeat Ikaclaw or Thorgrim. Not sure how else. Uh, yeah, the Dark Elves, it's kind of difficult to cheese their research rate. By like a massive amount. Great Swords would have helped. Uh, yeah, it would have helped, but it's. We're on turn 10? <laughs> I don't think... Oh, maybe we can get Caribou Greatswords. Maybe. I'll see. Legend, how come you don't have Hellstorm Rocket Batteries? <laughs> it's turn 10, dude. It's super early. I think it's turn 10. Yeah, give me them kills. We don't want these guys coming back next battle. Did you have one you to start with? No. No, that's uh that's Volkmar who starts off with great swords. Carl Franz doesn't. I'm pretty sure it's Volkmar who starts off. Yeah, no, um Carl Franz doesn't have it to begin with. Alright. Heroic victory! Nice! That's worth a lot of experience then. Good oh she's gonna get wiped out anyway. We don't have a siege attacker, so I can't just get in there, but and it's it's a good start. Yeah, why no steam tank? <laughs> yeah. 
Guilt starts with a great sword. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I have blades? Yeah. Alright, cool. My orders are to move. Alright, so we got him to rank 12. That's nice. Uh, Headhunter is not needed. Uh, I can get him Imperial Pegasus. Don't worry. Best of the Empire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what we need to do here is have Karl Franz besiege. Transfer all of these units over. What does the Emperor bid? Advancing! Leave no one behind! Ulrich's will! Yeah, was, unless I wipe them out utterly, there's no way to, Oh no, it takes two turns to get in. Oh, that's so crap! To battle. God, I hate that mechanic. Fuck. Two turns. A successful foray. Why did it take so long? It did it have something Attack. to do with these super damaged units? Raise your weapons. No. Uh, Calv did a five euro super chat. Hey, legend. When I play high elves, I keep archer stacks. For a very long time on Tyrion. Any rec recommendation when to change his army? As soon as you're ready to change it. That's There's no right or wrong answer to that. So if you can use archer stacks for ages, then do that. You know, and just... There's no right or wrong answer. But thanks, Super Chat. Oh, that's so annoying. Can't you use agents to open the gates? I don't have any agents that can do that. It's Again, it's turn 9, dude. <laughs> Can you get Ogres to spawn? Next turn, it's possible. It is possible to spawn Ogres next turn. But transferring it to the army is difficult. You have few men to build equipment. Yeah, I should have enough, though. I should have enough. Fight for our nation. Hmm. It's because you only have the Lord when you siege the city. Men, war calls. Oh, really? That shouldn't have mattered. Well, I don't have enough movement to, to finagle that. If I withdraw, I won't be able to besiege. I, I can't, I can't get any regiment of renown. We're not high enough level yet. Oh, no, I can. Hang on. I gotta think about how to do this. Because, like, we're in a weakened state. These guys are gonna jump over here real soon. Let me just see if I can get them to join me. Yeah, like hmm, how much money do I have? Hmm. These guys are considered defensive. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't mean shit, though. It's better to break away than attack after fully recover. Hmm. Do you take me for a child? I won't be able to get back. Might as well just keep him under siege for this turn. Get rid of this guy here. Okay. Um, oh shit. I think Breach the Dam is best. Yeah, flooding in like Sterland. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, don't worry about that right now. Um, and then we want to recruit somebody back over here and get some more troops over. Another Huntsman General's Noble's good. No time for our and our.
Yeah, look, even seven turns until that comes back. Uh, just get them whenever needed. Attack! Take Montfort next turn. Uh, I don't want to occupy Montfort because um, if you occupy Montfort, these guys will see you in a weak spot and they'll send both armies to attack it. That's why I didn't do it. See, if we have a look at this, they can't actually reach me. Like, them blowing up Helmgard or whatever is no big deal. Trust me, these guys here, stupidly annoying. They will attack you the moment you're, you're weakened. Um... I'm just trying to figure out what to do about them. Because the thing is, yeah, the Skull Smashers will be jumping back over here again real soon. So I may need to actually back off from this. I may not be able to capture this right now. But we keep it under siege because I'm out of movement anyway. If they jump over, then I can just beeline straight back to Helmgart. At the very least, at least we got a heroic victory out of it. It's unfortunate that we can't actually get the fucking city. Um, let me try something, actually. Seeking out the light. Men, I will fight with you. Sometimes transferring them back in can just reset it. This will help. Nah, it didn't make any difference. Yeah, I think you're right. Because I besieged it initially with just one unit. I think that made all the difference. Uh, but I, I don't have enough movement now to withdraw and try again. It just doesn't refresh this. Raise your weapons. You dishonor me. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. Cancel the building of the ram inside again. I tried that. It just isn't. It isn't refreshing it. Oh, hang on. Let me try something. Why don't we just load the game? It, hang on. If I load the save file, it might just forget. <laughs> Sometimes the game refreshes this kind of shit if you just load the save file. Let me just check. If you siege with only your lord, then adding units to your army, you don't have to supply to build a siege equipment. Yeah, that seems to be correct. That's what happened. I shouldn't have done that, but I don't have enough movement to, like, change it. So I'm just going to try to load the save file. See if it, like, forgets that I did that. Sometimes the game does. It just doesn't remember that you did that. Yeah, bitch! <laughs> One turn. Gotcha. Men, war calls. The game forgot. All I had to do was just basically reset it by loading. All right. Uh, public order here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, let's get the Emissary to Prince of Altdorf done, because that is... Good. Yeah. Watch the quarry. Yeah, I'm going to need money for building up other cities, so we've got to save up a bit. We just, just spent a, f a lot there. Wait, 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 wait. Would it be better instead to get relations with the Karazhan Corps? Like, you get one extra public order with that. There's also Purge the Foul. Melee defense and fighting against Greenskin Scave and Lizardmen. Like, one extra public order. Look, if we have a look at this region, right? It's fine. Yeah, let's purge the foul. Since that's what we're going to be fighting in the early stages of the campaign, we're going to need that. Check diplomacy after trade income. I've been checking. We're not going to be able to trade with anyone. We've, we've, we've got... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, they're fucking here. 
I knew that they were gonna jump over here in the end turn. I fucking knew it. It's probably all just still, yeah, orc boys. Okay, so what I expect here, we launch the attack on Paravon. What we can do is sack it and just run back to Helmgart, or um, we can occupy it and wait for reinforcements because there's no siege attacker here. Um, Ricardo Mora did a CRC 5000 Super Chat. Hi Legend, one question. Is there a way to unlock all the gifts with the Demon Prince using the Demon Glory mechanic? Probably not. Thanks for Super Chat. Appreciate it, but probably not. I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't play it, so I don't know. Um, okay, okay. These guys here. They probably do have enough movement to get to Helmgard, but if they did, they would lose. Yeah, they recruit these armies real fucking quick. We have to win this battle without taking too much damage. What type of... I don't know. What, what she is. Um, also, as soon as we capture Paravon, we can th uh, throw a Regiment of Renown in here straight away. That's why I didn't recruit them last turn. Okay, so what we should do here, I think, is stand right... Recruit some more of these. And I will be able to bring them in next turn. Yeah, if he... If he... If he... If he... If he Puts us under siege, we should be okay. Okay. Alright, now we gotta come up with a plan on how to win this battle with minimal casualties. Yeah, lightning strike them. Alright, they're not going to be able to hold the walls very well. What type of wizard is this? Okay, that's good. Um, they're not going to be able to hold the walls very well. And then they've just got... Friggin' mounted yeomen and cavalry. They can't do anything about that. Okay, let's jump in and see what we can do. If you occupy, they can reinforce the next battle with greenskins. Who's they? You mean the garrison? I won't have an I won't have any movement to be able to to do anything. All right, so we need to come up with a plan. Plan, 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 plan. Okay, so get rid of this. <laughs> Just go stay there. I may need to loot and occupy to get some replenishment. Um, rush the walls. Probably a good idea to do that. Because, yeah, the troops that they'll have up on the wall will be nothing. I don't want these guys here fighting at all in this battle. I need them to be at full strength. Same thing with these two. A bit full strength. I guess the archers don't really matter that much. Uh, Reich's guard, I'm going to need them at full strength to keep them out of it. You, I don't really need at full strength. Carl Franz, I'm going to need at full strength, so keep him out of this. Alright, here we go. Okay, there's actually loads of blind spots, so maybe maybe what we'll do is not climb up on the walls right away, but just move into the blind spots. Shoot the mounted yeoman first, please. What's going on here? Yep, that's fine. Finding rain, sir. The Empire endures. Alumina 
Don't have much to do with magic in this battle, but... <laughs> it's it wasn't much. It wasn't much. It's better than nothing, though. Oh yeah, the enemy artillery as well. Gotta be careful about that. The closer we are to the walls, the less likely they are to land any attacks. Let me have a look here. But they have got a few kills though. They're obstructed right now. Okay, it might be an idea to get the artillery to try to hit him. Just waste their ammo. Because yeah, we gotta try to do this with minimal casualties because our army here on its own, not strong enough to deal with that greenskin army. And if it besieges the settlement, we're not going to get any replenishment. Okay, refuses to shoot at this guy here. Why do you need a ram and you can just use ass letters anyway? That is a great question. <laughs> yeah, that is a great question. Because the game says so. It's just nonsense. I don't know. Lamar Fulmer did a $5 super chat. I like how Legend says, I have to take this as few casualties as possible. And I'm like, it's not possible. Cheese for the cheese god. Alright, thanks super chat dude. Appreciate it. Uh, Niklas Hoffler did a 10 euro super chat. Thanks for all the tips and tricks. Really helped me with my campaigns. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Thanks, super chat. Alright, yeah, I can't get at that fucker over there. May have been wasting a bit of ammo there. Yeah, okay. Well, they don't have many. Stop that, stop that. It's a waste, it's a waste. Um... Because, yeah, this one here is going to absolutely wreck us if we go up on the walls. Alright, I'm going to try something. Just run back a little bit. Might take a little bit of damage. But I need them to target this dude here. Okay, and you guys will need to run back over here. Because, yeah, it'll target other units if it can. Yeah. Like I said, it absolutely wrecks infantry. What is it aiming at at the moment? Oh, shit, they're aiming over here. <laughs> like I said, these artillery, they fuck. Um, you're gonna have to run back over here. We needed to shoot at our light wizard. Alright. Yeah, when there's no other options, then they'll shoot at the friggin' light wizard. So I probably shouldn't have advanced early. But now we can waste the rest of the time. Anyway. What is the worst faction to play as in Wemmer 2 that has not been confirmed for an update? Uh, Norska. Send the mage up on the wall and fire incoming into mage. No, it's a bad idea because these guys here will kill the mage. And then if he falls off the wall, he'll just... It, that's a great way to get the mage killed. Yeah, that is way too risky. And th what's going on here is... Is just fine. Yeah, if I send the mage up on the wall, these, um... These melee infantry here will be enough to beat him. Because don't forget, it is on very hard battle difficulty. Even Bretonian peasants can beat your, um... Your heroes. Alright, there we go. Alright, they just lost a ton of bounce of power with that. So now we can come in. Relative safety. Yeah, 
doesn't do much. So much damage there. Oh, careful. Maybe try and shoot that cavalry unit there. Okay, that's that's kind of working. Alright, we should have done enough damage to everyone up on the walls that it's totally fine now to send the archers up to fight in, in melee. Because they've, they've got nothing left. Really? Oh, hang on. These guys over here. Taylor Banks did a five dollar super chat. Love the content, mate, from Melbourne. Uh, no, Zoot. Um, glad you like the content. Thanks, super chat. How many kills is it getting? Yeah, not much. Okay, that's good. Shit. Alright, now bring these guys over here. Shoot at the. Okay. I reckon getting rid of these Knights of the Realm here will make all the difference for the army losses. Okay, we just cleared out all their infantry. No, 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 no. Don't get off the walls. Not yet. Okay, we can use his remaining... There we go. Never mind. Alright, cool. I think that was minimal casualties. We, we definitely took some, but it was l like low tier garbage that we lost. Um, maybe lost a little bit more than I would have liked. It was all this fucking unit here. And the towers. Remember Turing saying that CA told him that the Empire is by far the most played faction in the game based on their analytics? I thought the high elves were. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we want to loot and occupy it. Nah. Yeah. Nah. I, I intend to hold it, so I'm just going to regular occupy it. We don't want to cause public order problems. Okay. Now, we don't want to fight these guys over the end turn, which means we're not going to take any replenishment whatsoever, most likely. Let's have a look here. That'll be good. We still got to get three more levels up for Deathclaw, so get Majestic Enforcer, and I can get three regiments up for now now because we leveled up. So let's merge some of this shit. Oh shit! So, um, merge this one out of it. I command here. Okay. Shame we haven't gotten like a potion of healing for um, Carl Franz. Just yeah, haven't got one yet. Turn ten, I don't have a potion of healing. God, what is this? Uh, let's grab that. What does the Emperor bid? Now they'll be able to pick and choose which settlement to attack. If they attack Helmgart, we are at full strength. There's a, a decent chance of winning that. Yeah, it should be fine if we're at full strength. It should be fine. Okay. Yeah, it should be fine. We've just crippled Paravon. Yeah, we can't get a peace treaty with them. Okay. 
Yeah, see, this guy's movement, that's regular movement, so if we absolutely have to bring him in for reinforcements, we should be okay. Is it time? They're not going to bring in another army. No, I don't think so. What do Sigmar's sorry gets need? I kind of hope they go for Helmgart. Just have to wait and see. Does Winds of Magic affect balance of power the way ammunition does? Eh, tiny, tiny little bit. Only, only by a small amount. That's why using magic is so effective. Alright, this provides us with 50 gold and walls, but we're not in danger at Ubershrike. What I really need is more money right now. We'll build that at the tier 3 level. Because that's obviously... Sig Hang on, how much is it worth? Only costs 1,000 to build. Also provides public order. Public order isn't great. How much longer we got this for? Three turns, okay. Also, if I build... No, don't worry about that right now. Um... Also provides untainted. But what I really need is money. 250. Yeah, I can always just change the edict. It's fine. Go with that. Okay, and at Paravon, we do not need this. Go with... That. And I'm... Fairly sure we can handle this. Because it's just it's just orc boys. It's not a big deal. So hopefully it goes for Helm Guard, because that is less defended. They usually go for the easier target, but I, I think that they f they'll they feel like they can win at Paravon. But I hope they go for Helmgart. Nah. It's okay. We prepared for that. I will hear your petition, but we can't accept this. If I do, it'll make us low reliable. That's stupid. CA should definitely change that. It's weird how you have to be at war with someone for 10 turns. <laughs> the, Celestial College in <sighs> the game thinks I'm doing too well. <laughs> Random war declarations. They'll just sit there. Yeah. That is really common if you're doing really well on a campaign for just some rando faction to declare war on you. Alright, grab that. By the comet. Zogoth. Yeah, they're starting to recruit another army there now. The they're likely to starting to recruit another army as well. Alright, so it's gonna be a bit of a pain. This guy coming in from this angle. But we gotta lift this siege. Hang on, let me just check what the what it's like the with this. Hmm. Hmm, okay. I wasn't expecting this to be an order resolve win. Now, you gotta take into consideration very hard battle difficulty, which is the, what the order resolve doesn't take in. Um, I know we've got banishment, but we don't have tons of wins of magic, nor arcane conduit. Um, I don't expect them to get any more than a few kills. Now, we should bring in the other reinforcements. It, it's not worth losing this battle, Lo taking shitloads of casualties. My only concern here is that um, they're going to back off. Which means we won't get two battles out of them, but that's not the end of the world. I am Prince and okay, they still stand and fight. That's good. Okay, with reinforcements. I lose those two units. Okay. Entire garrison. Okay. Close victory. I think we should fight this manually because we want to get two battles out of them because we got to get Carl Franz Deathclaw. Yeah. It's always Krokgar for me who declares war randomly. Yeah, Krokgar is very aggressive. Declare war in Durthu to help prevent random wars. 
Eh, eh, we'll see. We'll see. Does prestige or regular funds make any difference in troop quality or number of troops? Nah. Alright, so these guys here will probably get hit a bit. Um, gotta be careful about this high ground here, because if they come up the side this way here, they can really fuck you. Uh, this high ground of- oh yeah, this is- this is where we want to stand. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look here, so... Let's get organized. The Empire endures. Gonna wanna climb up that hill. My subjects call. I'm gonna put these guys in the rear. I don't want them getting smashed. I don't care about the Sigma Suns. They're only supposed to be temporary. Uh, Death Jacks. Yep, you stay on the flank there. And you come over here. And what we can do with the Reichsguard is... Hide them for now. They might be hidden because of the terrain. See if we can hit these uh, missile units in the flank. <coughs> just, just play harassment with them. Why don't you gamble? Yes, because gamble is proven to be so effective. Alright, now with these guys... It doesn't really matter if they get wrecked a bit. I'm going to go and set up over here and have this guy harass as best he can. These guys over here, just go set up over there, they don't matter. <coughs> Excuse me, because I don't think they're going to make it there in time anyway. Alright, you move over here. Try to get the AI to split up their forces. Technology for students. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, uh, it's not essential right now. I've only got one hero. You can only equip them on heroes. I, I usually do forget about that. You are, you are right. Yeah. Honestly, uh, the student cheese is one of my least favorite cheeses in the game. It's garbage. <laughs> it's, it's something that you can do, but I just forget about it because it's such low impact in this stage of the game. You need... You need a whole bunch of heroes with students in order to even shave a single turn off at any technologies. Um, but yeah, I just forget about it. Take the hill. Yeah, that hill there is really bad. But this hill is good and that one's the best. This guy here doesn't matter at all. Just see if we can get some damage done. Probably should have spread it um, out or done a checkerboard, but this is fine. Oh, man, this is why I hate Reichsguard. Fucking slow bastards. Faster there. Okay, we're actually a little bit faster than them, so that's good. So far, this is going really well, I think. Really, really well. So these guys here, they're just distracting one unit of Orc boys. That's fine. But the AI is doing this in the worst way that they possibly could. What the AI should have done was sent all of their forces over to smash this one and then redirected. But they don't think to do that. They split their forces up. Someone programmed them to do it that way. It's not. Not clever. Good. Dead unit. Yeah, just try to keep outrunning them if we can. Take aim! The Empire endures. 
We got Slanesh bots, gotta get rid of them. Okay. This has worked out really well so far. Really, really well. That's quite a lot of units taken out with very little damage to our forces. You need to get over here now. Doesn't look like they want to send any more forces over here. Conditions acceptable. Moving now. Just keep running. Don't engage with them. We are Sigma's heirs. Hunter. Sigma calls. Tracking. Okay, don't waste any more ammo. Get over here. Still, uh, that was uh, it's it's doing right. It's doing right. I'm still got enough magic to overcast this. Got this. Ready, yes, my lord. Ah! Quick Don't want my uh, good units getting hit by the orcs. You can avoid it. I will not stand idle. These guys are never going to make it here in time. Wah! If we can kill the enemy lord. These guys will break a little bit quicker. Got him. Nice. Got him. Nice. There's the army losses. Good. Good, good, good. Not too much damage. Cool. Just try to run down as many of them as possible to make the next battle as easy as we can. Hopefully we'll get a decisive victory for that because that really could not have gone much better. Is there a morale but damage difference between a lord being killed and wounded? Nope. It's the same thing, it's just that if a lord is killed, they're dead forever. If they're wounded, it just means that they're not dead, but they're off the battlefield, essentially. But in terms of that battle, it has the same effect. Also, did you know that any bonuses that the uh, lord is providing their entire army does not get uh, removed once they get killed? Not until you enter the campaign map again. So, for example, if a lord provides, I don't know, plus 8 melee attack for specific units and you kill that lord, it won't get rid of it. This is why lord sniping is actually really shit. <laughs> it doesn't actually do much. The lord's effects will still be active until the next battle. Why do most people like playing as the Empire? Um, I don't know. You have to, I think for various different reasons, they're sort of like the good guys. 
Uh, they're also most familiar, I suppose. Victory is ours. Uh, let's see. I definitely would like money. I am Prince and All right, we didn't get a rank up there. That's okay. The nation calls. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, cool. And we want to yeah, actually counts. build this first because that will give us a bit of extra replenishment rate. While money... Yeah, we'll build a money building after that. Okay, so... Of course we need to take him out. So... Yeah. I need to take him out and then probably sack Montfort after that. Watch the quarry. Get a move on. Covering ground. You dare approach a lord of the Dowie in such a manner? It's hard to know exactly what they're doing down here. Sometimes they don't recruit anything. It's likely they did recruit something, though, because they recruited a lord. Um, yeah. That means they've got a farm or some sort of barracks. Okay, that's fine. Attack! I command here. Does the casualty replenish rate right from ransoming stack? It just provides extra turns on top of that. Okay, if we auto resolve, no, nah, we'll take some damage. We'll need to fight it manually. I don't want to lose my my frontline units right now. Okay. So, shouldn't have anything to worry about here. They're just going to come up here and get essentially insta killed. Although, they'll have a little bit of cover because of the trees, so it may not be the greatest position ever. But here's the thing, when you go around their flanks like this, see how they're trying to react to it? If you time it just right, it gives you more time to shoot. And then, of course, if anyone gets any closer, we'll pop down the net of ammo top on them. No point in doing it on units that will definitely not make it, but these ones over here on this flank, they look like they might. This, this unit here is just getting massively disrupted. Just bring it back. At least you got the speed banner. Reichsguard now is useful. Oh, did we get the speed banner? I didn't see that. That would actually be really useful. Alright, cool. That bought us about three turns before they'll build another full stack, but, you know, we got some experience off them. We're very close to Deathclaw. This should bring us up to rank 14. Then we'll sack Monfort again. I, I really do want to blow it up, but I need the smaller army to do that. 
How do you steal enemy artillery? Can you steal them from any type of battle? Okay, so you can only steal artillery that are from your same race, okay? So you have to go into a battle and have a spot in in your army available. So if you go in there with maximum full stacks, you can't steal their um, their artillery. And then it's 10% chance of capturing their artillery for each piece of artillery that they have. So the more artillery that they have, the more chances that you have of capturing it. Yeah, I need the money. The replenishment rate will be fine. Moving off. Okay. I am Prince and Emperor. Summon the Elector Counts. Good, rank 14. We're almost at Deathclaw. Need that damn siege attacker. Um, I don't actually don't mind getting Logistician. Yeah. We have enough skill points to, to get that, and that'll help compensate the ransoms. So did you just say we got the... Let me have a look. Oh yeah, we did get that banner. Okay, we don't need war. Let me have a look here. I don't really need that. Banner of Swiftness would be better. That is correct. What does the Emperor did we get that this turn? Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Huntsman General. Step to it. I command here. Into battle. All right. Can't really justify order resolving that. We'll probably end up, yeah, taking loads of casualties. I'm not going to be able to recruit anything. High elves can't capture dark elf artillery. No, they're not technically the same race. So high elves can capture reaper. Sorry, high elves can catch eagle claw bolt throwers. Dark elves can catch a re capture reaper bolt throwers. Does magical bypass the damage reduction that's provided by armor? No. Magic magical attack is only blocked by ward save and magic resistance. Armor doesn't make any difference. Unless unless the magical attack is not armor piercing, which all magical attacks are broken up into armor piercing and non-armor piercing. So for example, if you use a fireball, armor blocks a lot of the fireball damage because fireball isn't in innately armor piercing. However, something like um, flame storm, which is armor piercing, armor does nothing to block that. But armor blocks burning head. Unfortunately, the game doesn't, at least Warhammer 2, doesn't really tell you that well um, what's armor piercing and what isn't, at least with magical spells. Legend just joined. Do you think it's a good idea to fight some electors and confederate others or just kill all confederate all? Um, a little bit of mixed is usually okay. But don't fight too many. Whatever the case is, don't start any wars. Yeah, last thing you want to do is start any wars with an elector count. You'll lose so much... Um, Imperial Authority, and you need that. Imperial Authority is really good. It's okay. I'll still get one more. There is a cap on reload speed. Yes, there is, yeah. You can point vortex spells wherever you want by click, clicking and dragging the mouse. Only the initial second. Yeah, only the, the first second of the vortex will be directed by your mouse drag. It doesn't work in Warhammer 3. They, they uh, fixed that. 
Light magic seems to be really good, no? Yeah, it's good. It's pretty good. It's not not too devastating in terms of damage, but it's good for archer-based army, so it works for us here. Alright, so we're going to sack this, because, yeah. Ooh, ogres, my lord. Oh, well, there's our siege attacker. Ogres, my lord. These brutish nomads are as strong as they are stupid. Well, there's our siege attacker, so that's great. <laughs> Um, I can't really get at them this turn, though. So, Alright, so what we're going to do here is force march no back to Paravon. Ones. Need to get that now. replenishment. We're one rank away from getting... Let's have a look at this. Yeah, probably two more battles needed. Um, that'll give us a decent amount of replenishment. The nation calls. Leave no one behind. Yeah, we just got to be careful, make sure they don't Once declare general. war on us. Oh, that, sorry, they don't... Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Cool, I think this is a strong start so far. Alright, what should we upgrade next? Altdorf? Altdorf will give us the most amount of money. Growth is coming in pretty damn quick. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I am prince and emperor. We're probably not going to be able to get to Massive Orkal before they've raised another army. Huntsman General. Yes. <sighs> That's a really inconvenient location. <laughs> Fucking ogres. Uh, okay, what would be best in that situation, I think? Let's recruit... Let me have a look. we got a regal dude here. Oh, actually, this could be really useful. Yeah, let's recruit this regal dude. Because we only need them at rank 2 to get... Where is it? Yeah, there it is. The War Eternal. So, sorry, Blessed Holy War. Nice. Yep. And we'll get him to occupy this, uh, to go get that. Because if I send this guy in there, we're too close to them. I just don't trust Karak Ziflin. We need to set up a trap for them. Victory is ours. I'm not overly concerned about Paravon now. We will not be overcome. I ain't doing that. Mm. So next turn I want to blow up Montfort, but I want this guy here Montfort to do the blowing up, and we want Carl Franz to start making his way down the canals. Because he'll... Well, I'll have ogres. I'll have ogres, so I can just get them, I guess. Alright, what else have we got? At Reichlands. I got, I got a tiny bit of money, but I don't think it's worth upgrading that right now. Alright, let's, uh, let's move on. If I went and took Wiesmund and gave it back to them, I can get Imperial Authority from that, but no, I'm not going to do that right now. Just having a look at everyone else. We need to hurry up with this. So before I start heading back to deal with the Vampire Counts, I need Master Forkal defeated, I need Canels defeated, and I need Karak Ziflin defeated, and then I also need to research Ambassador to the Royarch of Bretonia so that no other Bretonians declare war on us like the Fae Enchantress. So I need to get some money for that. Which, you know, we'll see what we can do. Alright, moving on. Uh, let me just see, hang on. Let me just see if I can get some trade money. Sig By Sigmar's will, come in peace. I reckon they'll trade eventually. Who calls? Alright, let's move on. Is recruiting warrior priest laws to increase your capacity of viable trees? Yep. Definitely. Warrior priests are really good. And if you get Middenland as a province, um, you can recruit them at really high rank. Making an instant... Yeah, I guess that's not too bad. Making a instant... Um, warrior priest doom stack. Which is surprisingly strong. Just not great against single entities. But it's really good if you want to send it into Norska, because they'll get rid of all the corruption right away. Move any character to Ostermark here, eventually. That's good. 
Praise be to Sigma. Fall in, men. Ready. They've already recruited six units. That's all right. All right, so... So, so, so. Looking at Karl Franz, even if he fought this battle here, he won't get enough experience to get Deathclaw. So just have him... Actually, I won't even have him... Outdoorsman! There's only eight units there. That's a public order here. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so what we need to do here is blow up Montfort. Take them out. Uh, yeah, we should be okay to order this. It's fine. All or nothing. Yeah, that's, that's nothing. So we're going to blow it up. Wipe it off the map. That was not where I wanted them to go. It's kind of annoying when you blow up a settlement, you lose all your movement. But the purpose of this was to get these guys here to go and ruin dwell this. The nation calls. Uh, you go over here. Uh, okay. I don't really need Mournfang cavalry, so I'm just going to recruit the Headhunters tribe, just because that gives us three siege attackers as opposed to two. And then, Awaiting orders. and then, and then, and then, all right, force march you down to, the no, don't do anything, Forward just get rid of him, his name. cool, the nation calls. okay, so what should happen here now is hopefully the healthy army will come over here and ruin dwell this. Mission accomplished. Allowing us to get the jump on Karak Ziflin. Now, as for Karak Ziflin, I'm going to blow up the settlement, not occupy it, because... Um... Yeah. Should probably take out... <laughs> Heinrich Kemmler as well. Yeah. Yeah, fucking hell. Paravons. Oh, that... Okay, hang on. I got an idea. We need to build this first. Don't worry about money. We need to make sure we're defensible. Huntsman General, I am Prince. These guys here will Emperor. usually ruin dwell. I command here. So Carfran's getting a decent amount of replenishment there. These guys it's here, and yeah, they'll be coming in fairly soon. Summon the Elector Counts. Because yeah, I do not trust Karak Ziflin one bit. At least these guys, whenever they raise an army, they'll just jump over here straight away. But these guys turtle with these fucking two stacks. And the longer we leave it, the more experience they're going to get. Bring me to my men. Best we just get rid of these guys now. So it might be best for me to just blow up Karak Ziflin and just come back to it later. Because um, Heinrich Kemmler is usually pretty defensive. Victory is ours! The Empire. Okay, here's what we should do then. I think. We stand here. In encamp stance. I will not right? Obey. This guy Hunt here occupies general. this settlement, and then Karl Franz goes straight to Karak Ziflin with whatever's what? left there. We take I him out next Prince turn completely. And Emperor. What? Yes, to unite the provinces. Alright, we need to merge some of these units in. I command here. Recruits. I need to be at full strength. Out to proceed. Okay. And we got extra ammunition, that's good. What else should we get? Assembly line. Alright, grab that. Yeah, there's good stuff in there. Was there at least one Empire playthrough where you allied with Brett instead of conquering them? I can't remember. Maybe. I, I really don't value a military alliance with them. AI just, just, just does not come and help you. <laughs> All they do is ruin dwell the settlements you lose.
So hopefully they send the healthy army to occupy Montfort. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. They didn't send the healthy army. And now we fucked them. So, their army's damaged. We'll still have to deal with more than a full stack when we get to Karak Ziflin. But Karl Franz... Oh, he won't actually have Deathclaw yet. Um, Huntsman General. Maybe I should just sack the settlement so that we can bring both armies in. Occupy this another time. Summon the Elector Counts. Huntsman General, ready. Okay, let's do it. Do yeah, I've been what does fucking fucked by Karak Ziflin way too many past, times for me to um, justify not doing this. Right. <laughs> Gotta get rid of them. They'll they'll get Bring you when you least men. expect it, and they can be such a pain in the ass. I am Prince so yeah, I was going to occupy it. But I feel like I might need both armies to come up to Karak Ziflin because there is a lot to deal so, with. We're going to just occupy it later. So get Karl Franz to, to reinforce. Huntsman General. We definitely need to fight this manually to take minimal casualties. I love how damaged they are. They fell right for it. Because, yeah, we need to take minimal casualties, just take these guys out, and then Karak Ziflin itself. Um, which, I think I'll blow it up. For the comet. Ready. We'll see. Huntsman. Right, they're advancing on us. Need to hurry up and get over here. Be good to give this guy a mount so we can move a bit quicker. Let's get him over here. What's the fastest you've united the elect accounts? Uh, I think turn 130-ish was the earliest. Yeah, it's really difficult to do it by turn 100. Really, really difficult because you just can't get enough Imperial Authority and enough fealty in that amount of time. I mean, you, you can probably confederate them all if you're willing to take like negative Imperial Authority, but you really shouldn't do that because once you've confederated all the elect accounts and you're in negative imperial authority, you, you can't really get any more. And it is important to stay in positive. Alright, what I'll do here is as they get close, I'll just hand it down and top them, but we should have enough firepower here to just get rid of them. Good, didn't miss cast. That's what you want to see. Ugh. 
<coughs> Excuse me, cool. Um, minimal casualties there. Or save scum every single end turn. Yeah, you could do that to make sure that you get the elect account events, but oh my god, why would you want to do that? Any tips for utilizing handguns correctly? I suck with them. It's all just about line of sight. You just got to get their line of sight correct. You know? You know, don't put them in front of other units. Don't put them... Sorry, sorry. Um, don't put them behind other units that are going to obstruct them. Create gaps in your line. Yeah, just sack it. Because, yeah, I'm not 100% sure I can handle um, Karak Ziflin itself. With just Karl Franz's army, because... Not likely. They got six units in there. I have no time for this. And 15 here, and they're experienced, and... Like, that's a lot of armor for our Is basic archers to deal with. So, having that's a few extra archers could really... Hang on a second here. This guy here could launch the attack. I nah, no, no. Here. We want Karl Franz to do it. If this happens... If Carl Franz launches this attack, it's only worth 1,700 to sack. Huntsman General, who calls? Men, warp. Okay. Well, hang on. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. Raise your weapons. We'll fight it manually. So yeah, I'm leaning towards blowing it up. Move out to war. Hmm, close victory. No. No, we shouldn't order resolve this. I don't want to lose those units. This will be fine. This will be fine. We got magic. We got we got stuff. We'll be fine. Uh, Morgan Lemire did a ten dollar super chat. Why do you usually declare war on a faction using diplomacy screen rather than just attacking them on the campaign map? Is there some mechanical benefit to it? It's just a personal preference. Um, people just need to stop looking into it. It doesn't make any difference. Does it make one bit of difference whatsoever? I don't know why people uh, nitpick about that. It's just weird. Yeah, just keep them at the back there. You go run off some guys over that way. Okay. Alright, should we waste their ammo since they're taking a defensive position? What do they got? In terms of quarrelers, they've got a couple. Yeah, we really want to take minimal casualties because we need to immediately, after this, go after Paravon. Thought declaring war like that doesn't get allies involved. It doesn't make any difference. It's the same thing. Okay, look, I'll explain one benefit to it. Sometimes you can declare, like, hit attack on a unit to declare war that way. And, um, the game will say that you can reach it. And then you declare war, and then it actually path finds you in the wrong direction. I've had that happen before. So I declare war so that I can absolutely 100% make sure that things are going to pathfind the, the right way. It's There's a weird thing that can happen. Ultimately, it's extremely nitpicky to like observe this stuff. It doesn't make any real difference. Um, I don't know why people give me grief about it. <laughs> it's, it doesn't matter whatsoever. Jonathan Horner did a $5 super chat. Cheers, mate. You're welcome for the super chat. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate the super chat. Alright, I'm not going to bother getting rid of the other one. It's just too much time wasting. 
just get rid of one of the Corvallis. Okay, that'll do. And we'll start with... Oops. Too much flick of the wrist. I did a pretty good job of dodging that. Not that one though. So by running him around like this, it caused a bunch of their units to try to chase after him. Even though they had no chance. So that way, they've only got like three quarters of the army coming here instead of the whole thing. Yeah, on very hard battle difficulty, Reichsguard really struggled against Quarrelers. So if you're wondering why I'm not sending my melee infantry in, it's because they're damaged. I need them to have some time to re replenish. Like, we've got this. We don't need them to hold the line. People often forget to try to uh, spread out the casualties as evenly as possible, even if it means getting bad engagements, like missile units in melee with um, or with anything, as opposed to a unit getting completely obliterated. Because you got to think about the next fight, and a lot of people don't do that. They just let a couple of their units take all the damage while everyone else is nice and healthy. Still no army losses. Alright, good. That's the effective end of Karag Ziflin. I don't think we'll be able to fully finish them off this turn, but that is the effective end of them. Our casualty replenish building region or province wide? Cheers. It's usually region wide. As in, just you have to be in the exact region that it's in. Usually. Uh, it's hard to say because it doesn't actually say so. Mission 
Hey Legend, don't you have possibility to recruit priests to your army? No, not yet. Not yet. I've increased the capacity, but I can't recruit them everywhere. I need to get the building. Alright, so let's just blow this up straight away. Because if I occupy it, it's just going to rebel. Right. Mm. We could hit Blackstone Post. <laughs> Problem is, I'm supposed to go elsewhere. Oh, what do I do? I'm supposed to be elsewhere. This was just a side mission, really. I can always come back here later. Yeah, blow it up. Okay, now, who's ready for some cheese? Yes, please! Quicker, cheese! Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can get this done right. If we can do it just right. Keep the pace. Summon the cheesy man. Alright. Is there other dude back yet? No. Alright, what do we got available? Monster Hunter, Imperius, Regal. Uh, don't worry about that right now. Just get the. Um... Yeah, you'll do. Huntsman General! Orders heeded! <clears throat> we actually got rid of Karak Ziflin this turn. <laughs> ah, that's cheese. What's the quarry? All right, cool. I think we should be able to maintain this province here. Um, I don't think we can recruit. No, we can't recruit there. All right, they'll possibly ruin Dweller, and that's fine. I'll let them have that for a bit. Um, wish I could sell this over to Bastone. Next up for us down here, they're they're rebuilding, but it's probably just all full of trash. I am Prince and Emperor. All right, and there's our death claw, so we don't actually end up needing the uh, ogres, my Huntsman lord. General. And you just have that, I suppose, since you've already got all the good spells. Mm, yep, upgrade those. Can you confer with the New World Colonies as Carl Franz? No, they're technically not part of the Empire, they're part of the Southern Realms. So no, you can't confederate them. Same thing with Sudenberg, it's not technically the same race. Huntsman General! Alright. And yeah, they'll probably make another jump down here. And they might go and capture Montfort and that's fine, whatever. It's fine. Actually, you know what? Don't even bother developing this up until we're finished with this. Don't even bother. Because <laughs> this way, we don't lose a battle if they come over here and occupy it or blow it up. Yeah. Here we go, Marienburg. Let's be friends. Oh, come on, man! Alright. Should be soon. Should be soon. That delicious trade. Alright, all good, all good. Okay, I've done everything I can. Yup. Yuppers, okay, cool. Set up an upgrade. Oh, yeah, yeah, Montfort, okay, it's fine. Best Lord of Magic for the Empire. Um, life, Fire, and Light. Why take the common warhorse for the wizard instead of the barbed warhorse? Because it's, it's slower. You want speed. Giving a hero extra armor when they have no intention of ever entering melee is silly. What you want is speed. Speed is way more important than armor. Yeah, the bartered warhorse is shit. Absolute shit. Tony McCutcheon did a $5 super chat. $5 to buy some cheese. I love cheese. I rally do. Rally I do. Okay, thanks, dude. Thanks, super chat. Disband Regiment of Renown. No, not, I can't recruit here. we got to keep moving. Do you think Volkmar and Sudenberg will have an interesting start on Wormy 3? Not really. I don't know, maybe. But no, I wouldn't hold your breath on it. Ooh, 
I don't want to do that right now. Summon the elector counts. Okay, what are you doing? What does the emperor need that he cannot already find? All right, cool. Him being at war with the Barrow Legion should prevent any shenanigans on their part. Okay. Huntsman general. Military presence of 18. Okay, they're probably going to jump over here in the next turn. So we need to be ready for that. At least Karak Ziflin is dealt with. So we just, um, hang on, whose turn comes first? Oh, There's all Bastone. Because Bastone can tag us out. Okay, Bretonia comes last. Okay, that's good. So if we come to about Shmiao. And go into ambush dance should be fine. By Sigmar's crown. Okay, now what I want to do here is try to get this army to. Uh, I don't want to fight both of them at the same turn, do I? Eh, shouldn't matter. All right, if I stand right there. Sir. Ambush position. Okay, if I stand here, Proceed. this army should come out and attack it, right? So that it's standing out in the field. And if it doesn't attack me, well then I'll just recruit some more units. No big deal. If it does attack me, I'll just withdraw. This will be refunded. No big deal. But we want to make sure that Karl Franz gets them out in the field. Because sieges are not really ideal for us right now. Don't worry about this province. Alright, public order over here. The Chaos Corruption's gone now, so that's good. But... At this rate, we will get a revolt fairly soon. Uh, we still got two extra public order to come in. All right, that's fine. Just leave all that. Ugh, God, that's fucking quick. Yeah, trying to save Beckerfen is so freaking difficult. <laughs> Alright, that reminds me. I forgot to get rid of this. Okay, that's all fine. Alright, moving on. And you have another city? Uh, it doesn't matter if we go another city. Alright, let's see what happens. So I reckon these guys here will jump over. Yep. Decisive victory. They will have... It might be better to not actually fight this because we'll have more replenishment next turn. I'll be able to get two victories out of them. Probably. Eh, they'll probably run away. Order resolve. Wipes them out. This casualty is low. Yeah. That's, that's fine. That's not much damage at all. Alright, it's unlikely that they'll... Well, they still might. We'll see. Do you think Vimgor will have a hard time dealing with Greasus or vice versa? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Sorry, I have no idea. Alright, they're still going to make the attack. Alright, well, we know what they're recruiting. What the fuck? I was not expecting them to actually lose this in order resolve. Strike first, strike fast. God damn. I'm feeling merciful today. Now stay still. Don't force march. Stay still. Stay still. Ah, excellent. Got him. <laughs> oh boy, that fucked them big time. The nation calls. 
Uh, there's a thing about to happen. Okay. Huntsman General. Fort Soul. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I don't, I don't want. You want to always make sure you've got a thousand prestige. That's really important. So we'll go with send military force. This. Oh, but the AI is really bad at holding these damn forts. We should, we should, we should be fine. I get that you're kind of jaded, but doesn't IE feel like the actual Women's release and at least give some hope? Um, yes. Yes, it does. Um, in a way. But at the same time, um, it, it's kind of, it might be difficult for you guys to understand it from my point of view, but, um, CA has been really, really shit. Really, really shit these past few months. Uh, even going back to like a year. Their attitude is just like bad. So, it's not that I'm not excited for Immortal Empires, is that I'm worried about CA being at the helm. That's all. Like, I hope it turns out well. But, oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That's not fair. Oh, that's such horseshit. Oh good, they 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 came in. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was that was that was garbage right there. I can't do much with these two units on their own. Oh man, come on, give me, give me the rest of my damn troops. Oh man. <laughs> that is so not fair. God, this would be such an easy battle if I could command their fucking troops. Looks like that shot missed. Oh no, there it is, it's still going. Okay, at least we got one gunner over here. Hurry up. Oh my god, fucking hell. <laughs> this is just a fucking buggy game.
You see what the difference it is if you hold the walls compared to holding this ground here? What a massive difference it is in defending. Like, if we had control of this garrison, we would have barely taken any damage. But the AI is just so bad. The walls provide no... Okay, good. We got all of our troops in. But it might be a bit late. God damn it. If these guys could have been here, could have done some serious damage to them. Come on, hurry up. Small indie company, please understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, they didn't really get here very quickly. Fucking hell. Yeah, try to get rid of that damn- oh god, it's coming. Get out of this blob. Alright, anyone coming around this way? A little bit. Alright, get back, I need you over here. Get back. God damn, that Cygorp fucking hit hard. Oh no, oh no, 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 oh shit. Stupid fucking... We could have prepared a little bit faster. We could have been there shooting. <laughs> Stupid bugs. Come on, you guys over here. Oh, god damn it. We're probably going to end up losing this. This keeps up. Oh, this is so annoying. So annoying, holy shit. Just did not have enough time to defend this. Come on. There's fucking dudes here fighting to the death. They could have been in position by now. Stupid fucking AI! Come on. Shoot. I'm probably not going to win. Oh, don't give up yet. Don't give up yet. It's not, it's not over yet. If we can get rid of this giant, it's worth a lot of balance of power. Try to get this guy here to tank that fucking Saigor. That'd be good. Kill this damn try. Wait for it to get up here. Moving out. No one's coming up this way. And they're still fighting over here. I don't know. What the fuck? My Ulrich's rock. Ulrich's quick march. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Shoot it! Moving now! The Empire endures! Hand gunners! Spearmen! Alright, we're not done yet. I'm not done yet. Come on, get rid of this goddamn giant. Oh, there's still hope. There's still hope. There's still a little bit of hope. Uh, keep a guy over here, because they're starting to come around this way. If we lose the artillery, we might have the army losses inflicted on us. Luckily, giants are shit. Okay. Don't engage it. Just keep it distracted while we move over here. Okay, that cycle is just about out of ammo. Come on, a few more shots, a few more shots. Okay, we're winning, we're winning. Oh god, 
God, this was such a clusterfuck, but we only need to win. Doesn't have to be an amazing victory. Just any victory will do. I just wish I could have helped out earlier. <laughs> no, don't kill my dude here. There we go, we actually won. Cool. <laughs> it's okay. It all's well, it ends well. Yeah, whatever. These things happen. What happens if he loses this? Oh, nothing. They, um, they blow up Fort Sol. It's not my settlement. It's all good. It's just, it basically, if I lose the battle, I just don't get loot money. Which I probably wouldn't get much anyway. How could you criticize the Empire's finest? I'm not criticizing the soldiers that we got. <laughs> I'm criticizing the AI and the fact that we were delayed by so much. I could have really helped out a lot earlier. So that way, yeah, see, look at that. We get a fair bit of money, which compensates us for the two grand that we spent. Whereas if we lost, um, it would have gotten blown up, but somebody else just would have ruined all it. Yeah, okay. The land provides. We also got to keep the army for some reason. Huntsman General. And do you know what the funny thing is here? Trespassing. <laughs> hey, you don't have my permission to come and help you. Approach as friend. No, no. How to proceed? Friendship is more valuable than gold. Hmm. All right, we got to get rid of this. Huntsman General. All right, so wiped out all of their forces, and does Paravon have a backup army over here? They, they are recruiting. Are we going to be? At, uh, I might be able to make it there. Probably not. Oh, if he's a moving bug, I can make it there. Forward. Yeah, that's fine. The Empire. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, people were asking about the difference between Warhorse, Bartered Warhorse. Okay, what is the difference? Okay, so this provides 50 armor. This provides, sorry, that provides 30 additional armor, but it's 66 speed as opposed to 78, right? Now, the thing is that 78 speed is also modified by evasion plus 5%. So you're going to get more out of 5% on 78 than 66 right so that 12 12 extra speed this they can only outrun empire cavalry this it can outrun bretonian cavalry you know you don't want your light wizard getting into melee so this is this is an abs also it increases their upkeep cost more this is an absolute fucking garbage choice People just see, oh, it's upgrade, and then they, like, select it. They don't realize that it's actually a piece of shit. Bring me to my you gotta think about these things. No peace. You know, it, the only time you should give a battered warhorse to somebody is somebody that you really want to tank. Superb huntsmanship, man. Make haste, men. Oh, nice! We actually made it to Canals. I didn't think we'd make it. Cool. Alright, let's have a look here. Bonus versus large for Reich's Guard units. Nah, I'm never going to recruit more. Uh, same thing with... The, um, that's okay. Um, journeys... Nah, don't worry about that. Let's go with Replenishment. Huntsman General. How dare you raid me? It's fine. Okay, and this guy here... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Men. Will. Does the AI get a speed advantage on very hard? I don't think so. It's just when a unit is pursuing, I think it gets a bit of Another a speed hunt. advantage. Another trophy. Covering ground. So yeah. We got some money. I need to get um, Ambassador to the Royarch of Bretonia because we need to leave Bretonia really soon and I don't want them hating me. Because I only came here to get rid of Paravon, Karag Ziflin, and the Skull Smashers. So, where is... Um, Carcassonne? No evil doer may it's only minus 10, that's not so bad. Tis but a thin veil um, if we offer to join war against the Dreadfleet, this can actually backfire on us. Yeah, don't do that. 
Okay, what if I gave you some money? That's pretty cheap. If you desire it. I know it like instantly lowered the uh, relationship, but it's okay. It is done. But yeah, that's so cheap. I know. We'll be able to maybe get a defensive alliance with her if we keep this up, which will just protect our borders down here until until I actually want to smash the Fae, which you know me, I love smashing the Fae. Alright, so we don't have any artillery, so that's a little bit of a problem. Let's have a look at this map here. I think it's a, another cornered settlement. Let's have a look. No, it's not. Um, if we order resolve, we will take a lot of damage. We need to try to make sure we're not going to take severe damage because we've got a lot to do. Um, how are we going to go about this? There's no blind spots in this map. It's only three archer units. Okay, I know what to do. Why not smash the Fae? We've got bigger fish to fry. So, the plan in the early game is to get rid of the Skull Smashers. Because if you let the Skull Smashers hang around for too long, they start sending Black Orcs at you. And... That, that becomes pretty difficult with when you're dealing with two armies of black orcs attacking your forts, right? It's a, It just becomes e extremely annoying. So I go in there, just take them out right away. So I only had declare war on Paravon just because it's on the way. And I'd have to trespass on them so they couldn't end up declaring war on us anyway. So I declare war on Paravon, take some decent territory, get to Massive Orc, I'll take them out. Now we could smash the Fae, but what I actually want to do is redirect to the other side of the Empire, and deal with the Vampire Council. So this is just stage one of securing the Empire. Because if you don't do this, then those fucking Skull Smashers come into Reichland. Which is very annoying. Uh, okay, let me... Oh, okay. If we can hide all of our units in here just to begin with, they might not have any units up on the walls. Okay. Then we'll set up over here. They'll put all their units over here, right? Go. Quick march. So what I want to do is... What do I want to do? I want to rush over here now. Well, it's undefended. And Carl Franz, I want him to go fight archers up in the wall and keep them busy. These guys over here, get over this way. Moving faster! Moving now! Yeah, they just didn't see where we were. They deploy where they can see. So if you deploy them where they can't see, <laughs> get the jump on them. They're not overly interested in fighting us here. The Keep the gun units out of the way. They're not really going to be that helpful. Okay, melee infantry, good over here. They're actually quicker at taking out the gate than those guys. You can get Bastogne too for second complete province and it's free settlement. Uh, yeah, but that's time. We need to get over to every turn that we're wasting over here. It's it's like gives Manfred a lot of momentum. Manfred can really fuck you up or fuck up the empire if you leave him there for too long. Look, we could conquer the entirety of Bretonia without too much trouble for sure, but we'll lose a lot of imperial authority. We'll lose a lot of Imperial Authority, which is what we need. We don't need Bastogne. Serves no strategic purpose to us right now. Okay, we're wasting a bit too much ammo there. 
Alright, let's start with getting a few guys up on the wall. Yeah, the longer you leave Manfred alone, the more settlements he'll take, the harder it'll be to get rid of him. You really want to get him as early as possible, but you can't get him too early because he started off with a non-aggression pact. Same thing with needing a siege attacker and artillery, which we don't have access to yet. Alright. Uh, don't charge in there just yet. Okay, let's get some dudes up on the wall. You move back. I really want to send healthy guys up on the wall. Carl Fran's doing a good job kicking these guys off the walls. Nice. This guy's been hit with a couple of those. We don't want him taking any more damage. So far, so good. Oh man, he's really trying to aim at them. Let's get them out of there. Alright, we just killed their wizard, that's good. Isn't Carl France for Siege Attacker when he's on Death Claw? Yep, that's how we were able to launch the attack right away. We don't have any ogres in the army. Although I can get ogres, we did, we did get access to them. But yeah, only recruit ogres if we absolutely need them, because they're kind of shit units. Cool, just keep kicking them off the wall. Good, we're getting control of it. And is that the ambulance? Stop firing. No, not yet. Okay, we need some more troops up on the wall. Still no army losses. Surely shouldn't be that much longer. Yeah, get down here and fire at will.
If you get regeneration with Carl Francis, become as good as Lou and Leonko? No, because Lou and Leonko gets regeneration. So even then, Lou and Leonko is still stronger than him. All right, let's take the units that have the least amount of damage. Move them over to here. Just a few units left. Uh, we'll see if you can chuck a banishment over here. Could swoop, but there's a good chance I'll land, and if I land, then we're in trouble. Yeah, it didn't give us much time. Is a fucking Grail Knights here? <laughs> it's gonna hurt. But there's the army losses. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. I'll take a little bit of damage, but not that big of a deal. We'll recover. Good stuff. All right, that's the end of Paravon. So that's another problem dealt with. Paravon's gone for good. Lewin gets a ton of stats from being a Bretonian Lord as well. Yeah, perfect Vega. His equipment's really good. Like, he gets massive magic resistance. And if Carl France have Gal Moraz, it's magic attack. If you give Franz the sword of Cain, is he as good as Lewin? Uh, no, he that makes him worse. <laughs> makes him a good fighter, but makes him a worse lord. Uh, okay, just occupy. Don't need the money. I command here. All right, cool. The land provides. Cool, 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 cool. All right, if we want to attack Massive Olkarl next hunt. turn. Another trophy. Does she care that we took them out? Short lifers. Nah, she doesn't it is care. always a pleasure to hear of your little schemes. Just curious. Uh, KJ Munson, one, did a two dollars super chat. Hey, Legend, fifth favorite school of magic. Foes to track. Fire. I don't know. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> fifth. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Fucking weird question. Okay, so we want to be able to attack this next turn. If Karl Franz force marches to there, he should be able to make it. But this one doesn't have a siege attack on the army. So if I hire a... A ogre... Into this army... Alright, let me just have a quick look over here. Quicken your stride! Forward! On the trail! There's no lord there. Leave no one behind. Okay. Yes. We can get rid of him next turn. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. No sense in hiring the ogre now. I'll just end up paying it for a turn. Cool. So that means next turn we're done here and we just fucking leave. <laughs> What's your problem? Not, Distrust the empire. Oh, you down, shit. Scum, if your words displease me. All right. So he's got a few problems. He is defensive. He probably won't declare war on me, but let's have a look here. Not, I will strike you down, scum, if your words displease me. I never fail. Okay. Don't forget next time we get that extra 50, but that'll just provide a bit of buffer. Mission accomplished. I'm just going to leave this as a ruin. I just don't need the settlements. I didn't come here to make a profit. I came here to get rid of them. And then we need to move on to Manfred. This this was just a training ground for for um, Carl Franz, really. Now that he's trained up, it's time to fuck moving. Alright, what's next? This is pretty good. Sigmar's ward is going to be useless against the vampire counts. So, let's get Pistol Corpse. Let's get that going. Alright. Would be good to get better items. Probably don't need this now. Ah, poo. Piece of... Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Um, I don't have enough money to upgrade any of these settlements. I'm not going to be able to beg for money. I could cancel these. But, saving up this much growth isn't that big of a deal. Yeah, I just, um, 
I just don't have enough money. I should have enough money next turn. Hunters! Watch. Maybe what we should do is disband some of these units that we really aren't going to need. Like the Regiment of Renown. I'm not going to need Sterling's Revenge. They're not good in a siege anyway. Nah, don't need it. Bring me nah, to my let's get rid of the Regiment of Renown now. Alright, now I come. should have enough money next turn to, to get it. Uh, just go with growth here. Why not Renowned and Feared? You don't get that as the Empire. Yeah, they don't get that. Yeah, so I could cancel these constructions here to upgrade these, but this will provide a good income boost, and yeah, it'll be fine. Alright, oh, uh, you know what? I could cancel this. I, I need that. I need that. Yeah. Skarsnik next? No, Vampire's next. Probably Vlad first, then Manfred. But we'll see. No Pegasus for Carl Franz? No, no, he's straight to Deathclaw. Why does he need a Pegasus? That seems silly to me because they're at war with, um, with them. It just seemed very silly. Spoonie of Soul City to 5 dollars super chat. How do I know which hero buff stacks? Specifically wondering about army unit bonuses like with the Warlock Engineer. Um, okay, any, any ability that is applied on the campaign level is it usually stacks. Any ability that applies on the battle field usually doesn't stack, if that I makes sense. Yeah, Carfrance can't make it there, which is why this guy was needed. Good thing we got some ogres, my lord. All right. Weapon. I... Oh, could I win without down. having to bring in Carl Franz? Because if I do that, then Carl Franz can just get moving. Forward to victory. Nine units. Ooh. Ooh. Hang on, what do they got? What do they got? It's a cornered settlement, isn't it? Take them out. We have one additional unit on them. These guys here have 135 range. They've got 100. It's a cornered settlement, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Ooh. That is fucking risky as hell. All right, so what I'm thinking is, this is really, really risky, right? If I launch this attack here and lose, well, then I don't get the settlement this turn, right? Um, it, it'll cost us an additional turn. However, if I win this battle here, because it's going to be tough, we're going to have to deal with two towers, but on this area here, we've actually got a pretty good position to shoot them from. It's like... Big risk, but high reward. And that way, Carl Franz can just head straight to... to Manfred. I can't hire any more units. I didn't think the odds would be that good. I should have hired another unit. Oh, hang on. The wizard. The wizard. The wizard. Oh, I fucking can't make it. No, sir. Oh, that's so risky. We'll need to make sure his shots are only used on the Orc Warboss. If we do that, I think we can win. All for nothing. Alright, it's too late. I can't withdraw. I can't get any more units. 
It's too late. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Risk it for the biscuit. If I end up losing, it's not the end of the world at all. But it's just this is one of those high risk, high reward situations. If I lose, well, we don't get the settlement this turn. We get it next turn. No big deal. Um, but if I take it this turn, then Carl Franz can get further towards the the vampire counts, which means we can mitigate how much they they conquer. You could just hire another ogre. No, I can't. I can't hire another ogre. I should have hired an, another ogre before going into it, but I didn't think the odds would be that good. Movement bug the wizard with Francis' army, but the whole... No, what's the point in doing that? Oh, God, it misses the point. The whole point is to send France towards... Uh... You'll see, you'll see. If we can manage this, we'll see. All right, so... This guy's ammunition here has to be entirely for the enemy lord. Okay, now the ogres, my lord, will have to hang back over here. We don't want the towers shooting at him. Um, we want to approach this from an angle where we're going to get shot less by towers. Let's see how we go. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to get shot a little bit by the towers, can't stop that. This guy here is obviously stalking. He can take a bit of damage, it should be fine. But we can outrange the goblin archers, which is what I'm counting on. Okay, these ones here, they're group number one, group number two, I don't want it to be locked. Come on, get detected. There we go. Keep moving up. No delays. Proceeding. Good to go. These actually count as two towers. On the hunt. We are moving up. Alright. First group. Aim for those goblin archers. Gotta get rid of them. No delays. Okay, these ones over here, move them over this way. Okay, that's a pretty good angle there so far. Get back, get back, get back. We can outrange them, so we need to make sure that we do that. This is extremely risky. Because, <laughs> yeah, we gotta get rid of the biggins as well. Like, they have to be shot. I'm having a hard time angling that. Go for those goblin archers. If you can't aim for these ones here, go for the other ones. What we'll do is swing some other dudes around over here to aim for that. And then moved over here, moved back. Oh, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look horrible. <laughs> it doesn't look great. Fight for France! Making ground! At speed! The longer the battle goes on, the worse it is for us as well. Ready to fire! Whoa! I'm there! Yes, my lord! Moving out! Into position! At speed! The Empire is yours! This guy here is taking damage. Uh, I don't know about this, guys. I may have bitten off more than I can chew. I just can't get good angles on them. Like I said, the longer the battle goes on, the worse it is. It's just really fucking tough. I just don't know. If we could just get rid of their archers, that'll make a big difference. Alright, I think I need to pull this guy back. It'll still take them ages to get rid of the archers, but we need him to have some health or else he'll just lose too much bounce of power. Yeah, I don't know about this. Even with guard mode on all of them, these control groups were useless. Alright, I want you to start shooting at that dude there. Does he have a shield? Yeah, he does. Position. No 
Just back a little bit. I gotta start shooting at this dude. Yeah, I think. I, uh, keep going, keep going, but it, it doesn't it doesn't look good. Like using up a lot of ammunition, taking out really shit units. I just don't know. I might be able to cheese with the ogres a fair bit. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's get the ogres over here. Let's get the ogres over here, start smashing down this gate. See if I can keep them distracted. The ogres are faster than any of their units. I can just keep running around. <laughs> we'll cheese with ogres. Come on, I need you to get rid of these fucking archers over here. Like, completely. Okay, I need these guys to move a little bit more over this way. Give the ogres a free pass. Actually, no, 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 no. If you stay, if you stay within here, they won't shoot the ogres. Okay, he got obstructed because of. Uh, we are killing the enemy lord. That's good. Come on, ogres! Fucking move it! Oh, damn it! They're moving the dudes over here. Doesn't matter. They'll they'll constantly switch them. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Move back. Okay, now let's go move out of the way. Okay, shoot up these orc boys here. It should be relatively easy. Just ignore them now. We great if they put the biggins up on the wall. Man, if these guys come up on the wall, it's pretty good. Alright, we've thinned out a lot of their forces. Alright, now let's... Um Shit, let's shit, shit, shit. Move over to here. Move over to here. They've they've lost pretty much all their archers. If we can make it all the way to here. We're in, we're in, we're in. Come on, ogres, move, 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 move. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Move through, move through, move through. They don't have any fast units. Move through, move through. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Ogres are in. They'll be super disruptive. Just get to the wall there. Get to the wall. Don't worry about them. Run through, run through, run through. Use your mass. Okay, this will draw most of their units into the town square, giving us more ability to capture the walls over here. I don't expect them to actually capture the, the town square. But this is just a start. Oh no, it's starting to play green skin music. It's alright, we still got ammo. Still got ammo. 
Main thing here is to stop getting fucking shot. Alright, starting to cap this. Don't expect them to do actually succeed. Okay, there we go. That's good. I'm starting to cap it. Alright, those ogres could probably handle the lord by himself. Probably. But we'll see. Alright, cool. We shouldn't be... Shouldn't be taking any more tower damage now. We're in a safe spot. There's a few goblin archers left, but not much. Alright, just grab a couple of healthy-ish units. Move back a little bit. Goblin Archer unit here, that's gotta go. Okay, everyone, stay there, stay there. They're not really shooting very effectively. Don't worry about this one here, it's almost out. Okay, good, 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 good. good. Yeah, don't worry about this one, it's got no ammo left. Shooting it would be a waste. Okay, they're essentially just... Where are the biggins? Where do the other biggins go? Oh, they're right in front of us. Oh, perfect! Uh. <laughs> yes! I can handle that, I think we're gonna win. Andre did a $33 super chat. Hey, later. Thanks for the entertainment. No, it's doing my pleasure. Thanks for the super chat. That guy ran out of ammo. Okay, let's create control group 3 for those who run out of ammo. Sure, I don't have much, but... At least biggins don't have shields. They do have armor, though. But yeah, we pulled them off the wall by just feigning capturing the, the town square there. It's a start. It's a start, at least. Three hour cycle charge coming. No, I don't think so. Even though they do have a decent amount of armor, this is still. We are trading really well for bouncer power here. Really, really well. Okay, let's use. Uh, let's use this one here. This was. Wish I had sort of figured this out a little bit earlier, but this is so far looking good. I think. Why don't you move them inside the city? I'm blocked by these fuckers. <laughs> They won't ever come out of the city. See, the ogres can outrun them. Yes, sir. No, you just you just stay there, ogres. Don't move. Okay, we're trading really well for balance of power there. Really, really well. I'm glad they didn't have a wizard in the army. Really well for bouncer power, though. Okay, stop. Okay, I need to uh, try to get them to reform up a little bit because they are kind of blocked. So, let's just do this a bit. Drawing them out of the city does allow us to break them a little bit easier as well, which would be good. Still got arrows of Akshi, but we need to make sure we got a clear shot. Okay, stop. Don't waste any more shots there. I think that was good. Alright, how many... Oops. I'm running low on ammo. Stop. 
giusto. Ooh, we do not have much ammo left. Oh shit. Get over there. That's okay. That means there's nobody over here now. Alright. Could shoot them up on the wall, but I don't think that's effective use of our ammo. Can Archer melee the Goblin Archer? Yeah, but I already got rid of the... Yeah, th don't worry about them. They're not a big deal. How much damage did they do? Oh, they did a lot. Okay, got an idea. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. How fast is he? 36. This is speed 35. Those are anti-large, we do not want ogres charging into him. But I want to try to get this guy in. But it might be best to get him in by sneaking around. Because I need to snipe that lord. Yeah, they don't want to give up this position now. Okay, they're bringing more guys around over here. That's fine. Fresh unit of biggins. Alright, those orc boys over there should be easy to beat, but I need to go all the way around over here to get them, I think. Alright, off you come. So, what I need to do now is try to snipe the enemy lord. We've still got 19 shots. If I can shoot into his back with some arrows of Akshi, I think we might actually kill him. Because, yeah, his face... Oh, hang on. Might want to recover his fatigue. Alright, he's facing a good way there. Good, with 200 a shot, we might just have enough ammunition to get him. Stop. Okay. 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 We'll go back into stalk. Okay, that's it. Just be patient. <laughs> this, is, this is good. This is good. What we got going on here is good. What are those? Oh, boys. Oh, man, I gotta pee. Cause yeah, I also got the arrows of Akshi, but that's much better off using on the like the big ones over there. But I gotta get a bit closer. Ah, oh, fuck, he missed. You got 16. I have to wait until he stands still. That's it. That's it. He should break fairly soon, and then the ogre should be able to handle the rest. Good. This is really, really good. Well, maybe he won't break. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, lower leadership for them now. I gotta pee. Fuck me. Alright, now. Let's pop one of these down on them. Which does area of effect damage. If we have a look, that did about... Did a little bit under 900 damage. That's pretty good. For for three of those, we can get a fair bit done. I gotta pee. Alright, I'm just gonna pause it. I'll be right back, guys. I won't be long.
Okay, I'm back, and it looks like we got red alert, so let's just wait for that to pass. It usually lasts about 30, 40 seconds. Um, yeah. Okay, it's about to pass. Just wait for that. It's number one plus number two. No, it's just number one. Just needed to pee. Have you washed your hands? Yes, of course I did. I don't know why people always ask that. What's well, red alert? Okay, so this means that we just have like turbulence. I've got like low data coming through at the moment. This happens every now and again. It's just, it's just a bit of turbulence. So when this goes green, um, everything will be good to go again. Yeah, red, so red alert. We get like this um, box over here. If it goes red, it means that I'm not sending enough data. Um, just, just give it a minute. Yeah, it just means bad internet connection. Shouldn't it usually doesn't last long, but we got massive drop frames coming in, so just be patient. Here we go. Here we go. Oh wait. All right. Look again. Here we go. Hope. <laughs> Come on. This is taking a long time. Come on. It's just turbulence. Shouldn't take too much longer, but it's, this is this is a long one. This is. There we go. Here we go. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> it looked like it was going to connect. Come on, yellow. No, no. Come on. It needs to go green. Um, Okapi heard I did a five dollar super chat. What type of cheese would you be? I fancy myself a nice gouda. Um, just straight up cheddar. Okay, there we go. Okay, red alert's over. There we go. No big deal. Okay, let's continue. All right, I reckon we should keep using the arrows of Akshi on this one here. I think the remainder of our ammo should be used on the uh, single entity because this has a lot of lot of uh, damage, right? Um, and if you shoot at an infantry unit, you just kind of overkill it a bit, and that's going to be very difficult for us to deal with any of these other units. Whereas the other ones here, even the the big ones, we could potentially go into melee with them. Yeah, I know this provides 50% flame weakness, but you got to get in so close to get that. I just don't like that very much. If it was longer range, I'd do it. Okay. So, you know, we did a fair bit of damage there with the arrows of Actually, If we have a look at this, he's gotten 6,000 damage. Okay. All right, he's recovered his fatigue. This one, he does have a shield, but he's facing... Okay, he is facing front on there. Which means I kind of need to go around all the way here. Right, well. You're never going to get there if you don't start going. Alright. Okay, yeah, red alert's coming back. Yeah, it's, it's, it's moving all over the place here a bit. Still green. Still green. But it, it, it was um, shifting a bit. Alright, so he's got to go all the bloody way around. Because he can't go through that way. It's not going to work. Got to go all the way around. Hmm. Two fresh unit of Orc boys with this amount of ammo. Sorry, um, big ones here. Hmm. Shit. Might need to use these guys here. There's a bit of a meat shield. Because I've only got 10 shots. Now, those these goblin heroes here, they don't have that much leadership. Oh, that, oh, shit. shit. 
stay away from him. Alright, I'm going to feign a charge here to get them to brace. No, they're not doing it. Uh, looks like they're just going around that way. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. These guys here are not good against single entities, but... Yeah, look at that. One hit fucking kills an ogre. One hit. Just try to get away. Heroes are good against ogres. Just run over him. Stay there. Try to bowl it over. Get back over this way. Ah, shit. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Shit, what happened to all the viewers? Oh, oh god. Jeez. Holy crap. Potion of speed? No, I didn't need to use it. Do you want to wanna hold on to that for the balance of power? Okay. Now he's facing the wrong way. Now let's see what we can do. Good. Because this guy doesn't have as much armor as the orc boss, get through his health way quicker. Shit, he's gonna break. He did break. Get him. Stop shooting. Stop, stop, stop. Get him. Okay, well, he rallied. We've got one shot left. Thinking about running some archers inside, just to tie him up, and then have the uh, the ogres hit him. So send the archers that don't have any uh, any ammo left. These guys here might try to stop us. They might not. The stream keeps dying and then coming back. I know, I know. I can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about it. It is a problem at my end. I can't do anything about it though. Because, yeah, last time he killed an ogre by charging into it. So these guys here soak up the charge, and then the ogres come in. I'm trying to break this dude. Okay, we broke him. These guys here might be coming down. Okay, get back, get back, get back, get back. We can deal with it. But just give me a sec to properly flank it. Don't worry about that one. Because, yeah, we really want to make sure that right on the charge... God, are we going to get him? We break this fucking unit. I don't think they're properly charged. Had I chose the anti-infantry variant here. Ready to fire. Doesn't matter if that guy leaves the battlefield. Is that shattered? Good. Alright, alright, we're getting somewhere, guys. Alright, now, let's start bringing in some archers. Start with these ones here. If these ones come off the, the walls, then the ogres can handle it. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We got incoming here. Oh, boys. Oh, 
I'll try to shoot them in the back if possible. That's it, shoot them in the back. Get their morale down just a bit. And then the ogres. If we can just come around and hit them from this side here, that'd be great. Okay, just a bit more damage. Okay, now stop. Alright, you guys come in now. If we break them, we might just cause the army losses. No, not quite. But yeah, we've got this. We've got this. We're gonna win. I'm fairly sure we've got this. So what are these? Hawk boys? No big deal. Okay. Save the last little bit of ammunition for the the biggins over here. For the Emperor! Come on, you stupid ogres getting hit by orc boys, you're way faster than them. Dipshits. There we go, we just needed them to soak up the charge, and then we flank with them. Right into the rear. That should break them. Oh shit! Hit us in the rear there, just a small unit, that's no big deal. One gets close and then just routes right, up, right away. Okay, good. All right, tiny little bit of ammo left. You go into control group one now. We can shoot right into its front and it'll be fine. Let the ogres have a bit of a rest. And now we just hope we've got enough ammunition. Tough fight. Tough fight. God damn. <laughs> God damn. One more unit would have been nice. Sean R did a five dollar super chat. What's your thought process for choosing and recruiting ogres? I just always choose the cav. Thanks for and I hope to see part two tomorrow. Alright, thanks super chat. Um it just depends on what I'm using the ogres for. As the Empire, I don't actually want them in my standing armies. Um even Mornfang Cavalry. So I recruited these guys here because you get three instead of two. Um, it's just more siege attackers. Mission accomplished. If I loot and occupy. Told you there'd be plunder. Karma did a 5 super chat. Masterly done, Legend. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, that was that was tough. That was tough. The wild makes warriors. And the reason why we didn't send Carl Franz over there is now we can get a good deal of distance towards where we actually need to be over here. Yeah, so elect accounts don't get wiped out. I am Franz. They will obey. Preface Spore 27 in Tulip Super Chat saying, 
Good job, Legend. Alright, thanks, dude. Alright, alright, alright. So we can probably... Uh, let's have a look here. Let's get rid of... Uh, those would be good. I'm going to get rid of this army. Get rid of this as well. Um, that might allow us to get Gotrick, which could be good. Uh, probably get the public order to begin with. Because we did loot it, so big public order problems coming in. Alright. Is there anything else we got to do while we're out here? Nah. It is good to see fellow Sever. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Now what brings not likely. Fucking Draker. Oh god, who did this? I will Dreyker. listen. Ostermark is still alive. Usually expect Ostermark to fall. Um, okay, let's skedaddle. Is it time? And this one Hunter over General. here, is, what's this one's trait? Monster Hunter, okay. Um, disband it. Yeah, it does provide some public order here, but I need the money. Getting to minus 47. Could repair this. Nah, just leave it. Okay. Well, we got shitloads of growth coming in here, but we definitely want some more tradable resources. So let's get that. We've got enough money to grab this, but we didn't build something over here last turn, so let's see. Uh, yeah, getting one extra public order is not that big of a deal since Car France is coming back here. Let's upgrade Uber's Reich. And the port will give us 200 extra gold. Yeah. And we're making really good coin now. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, next stop is figuring out what we're going to do here. So, if we have a look at Manfred, we have to wait 8 turns before we can declare war on him. Unless he declares war on us. Um... I will listen, but my time is short. So be it. Cool, got some money out of that. So, greetings on behalf of the Empire. I will not obey. Does Marcus Wolfhard have a, any part in your plans for this campaign? No, not really. Could build roads, oh, I wouldn't bother. Alright, let's have a look at followers and stuff. Scribe. Wasn't there one for additional six public order? Um, campaign movement range? Yeah, there is. Apprentice wizard is good. Militiaman, I don't really need that. Uh, yeah, go with that. That way we can make more money, because next turn we're going to be stepping in here. Uh, let's see, how are we going to do this? Usually, um, Vertbad falls to the Vampire Counts, or to, um, uh, to the Von Karstein pretty early on. See if we can get there before that happens. Is it not worth it to take Castle Bastogne? No, 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 I just need to deal with threats, they'll be fine. No, I, I don't care about this province. I don't care about it. The lady grants you. Valiant Lord. Those who displease me do not live short lifers. It is all. Yeah, they all like me now. Fellow nation of men. Just need to wait. Okay. Cool. All right. Research. Let's have a look. So we were doing assembly line. Got to get that money. Actually, why don't we change it to state troop standards because speed and leadership seems like it's going to be a bit more important than a tiny little bit of extra money. I know it's only two turns away. Oh, yeah, actually, let's do that one first. Then I'll, I'll do that one next. Why no banner for magical resistance? Not really going to go up against a whole lot of magical attack right now. That's just not important.
Would you rank Scrag's faction and battle abilities over Griefs's? Uh, I don't know. I've never actually played a Scrag campaign. Don't attack vampires, let them chill for a bit, they die every time. Uh, no, sorry. No. That's terrible advice. Putting it in all caps doesn't mean that you should be taking higher priority advice. Um, hmm. Yeah, we haven't met the Von Karstens yet. Greetings, my God. All right. Approach as friend. No, sir. Mm hmm. Okay, once the provincial instability is all gone, public order here should be fine. Plus, we can always just turn off taxes, so yeah, just leave that be. Alright, I don't need to recruit anything this turn. Let's have a look. What do we need? If we build this, we could get ourselves some mortars. Those would be good. Hang on. Let me just see if there's any of those noble dudes here. I want to build quicker. <sighs> He's available next turn. There's no heroes I can recruit here, right? No. They don't reduce the construction cost, do they? No. Construction time. Yeah, I gotta get over here pretty quickly. Okay. Um, also, Isabella won't have been recruited yet. Just trying to think what to do. Do you have any traits that reduce construction cost? No. Yeah. Okay, we'll get more money when we come in here because of the Toll Keeper. Also, we should maybe go off Death Claw. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna force march through here. Moving off. Yeah, I don't, I don't think. It's yeah, you're gonna come clear. Oh, okay. Hang on, maybe I should have gone and smashed Scarsnick first. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that yet. Skarsnik's lost his friggin' army. Because we're going to be waiting for this for a few turns. I'll see if I can hit that next turn. If I can, just like... I guess just blow it up. We'll see. Again, I'm not going to build on this one. If it revolts, it revolts. Just leave it be. Uh, leave that be. What we need here is cash. I need lots and lots of cash. Yeah, I think I might turn back around and see if I can hit that. Could be good to sack it for some money and then blow it up, but we'll see. Oh, I should have taken him off Death Claw just for the turn. No oh, well. Does Kemla ever come down from the mountains to mess with the Empire? Yeah, it does happen. It's rare, but he does. Ugh. That's a bad call. Hamster Cathedral building for heroes also. Yeah, but it's expensive. So we just need the money. It's not urgent. Okay. Leadership minus 10 when fighting against men is fine. 
Demand Needling's return. Yep, this is good. Good. Good, we got Imperial Authority from that. Good, I can still make it to Karak Asgaraz. Good. Get five grand. And they've got a little bit of an army. Not a big deal. I don't really care too much about getting the trait. We should be able to smash it pretty easily. Skarsnik usually just has full of goblins in his army. Something to do while we're waiting for this. Okay, let's go. Let's speak with... Let's see. Uh, no, let's speak to... Oh, shit, speak to Bastogne, because they like us a fair bit. Offer to join war against Crooked Moon, and... Trade agreement? Yes. Cool. Yes, it is good to see fellow No, no! Hmm. I am prince and emperor. I'd rather he a squeak. I can't pick my teeth. Looks like we just auto resolve that. Close victory will give us the same amount of experience as a decisive victory, so that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Falls are lazy. On march. Tormentor Sword, that's bloody good. Okay, then Force March down here to get Replenishment. Cool. Alright, we're definitely going to want Pistol Corpse. Yep. And you're going to need an Imperial Pegasus. Yep. And take him off Deathclaw just for now, because that saves us quite a bit of money. Uh, David S. at a five super chat. What's the best way to support the channel? Liking, commenting, premium, subscribe, super chats. Do any of these help you grow more than others? Just, just watch it. Um, no, look, just do whatever you feel is needed. You know, if you want to leave a like, leave a like. I don't really care that much about the most optimal way of supporting me. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank, I appreciate it, but uh, it's all good. Just chill. Thanks for the chat. Best way to support the channel is just watch the videos, that's it. Don't even need to leave a like, just watch them. Okay, cool. I don't really feel like I need to do that. Oh, we did get a ton of money. Could be good to get better relations with dwarfs. I did say we want to get that. I got enough money for two of these techs. Don't worry about that one. Purge the fell. Yeah, so next up, that'd be good against vampires, obviously. Uh, but we're not finding them just yet. So maybe... Maybe grab this one so I can continue to get some more trade agreements from within the Empire. Yeah. Sig By Sigma's will, I don't agree, but... Bow before the rightful... I must decline. Okay, that's fine. And yeah, we'll, um... We'll blow it up next turn. Yeah, just just be done with it, because we won't get back over here next turn, which... Yeah, okay, that actually times out pretty well. And with the remaining money, we could build this. But I think I might just save up the money for next turn, because I think I want to get more of these technologies done. And we need to build up one of these next turn, so I think I'll just leave it vacant. What about this? Yeah, I'll build that, that's fine. Need need trade agreements, uh, trade resources. And we have a trade resource here, yeah, you can build that. Yeah, it's fine. Gotta get money. More money means more troops, so we can absolutely blast the, uh, the vampire counts into oblivion. Okay, that's all good, and let's move on. Is the cavalry in Carl Francis' army worth the upkeep? 
not in the late campaign, but right now it's okay. Yeah, once we start fighting vampire accounts, the Reichsguard really become quite useless. They just become a distraction. So hopefully that's Skarsnik, because it would be good to get that trait. But if it's not, I wouldn't worry about it. Good, this situation here will keep all the Bretonians and Heinrich Kemmler busy. Your conquests strike fear into the hearts of good. your enemies, mighty lord. The wisest amongst them will know that fate is on your side. I have foreseen it. Alright, now we just blow this off. It's fine. See you, Skarsnik. Seed of Rebirth. That's not terrible. Okay, Crooked Moon's gone. Yep, and as expected, we're not standing in the settlement, so that's why I didn't want to do it next turn. Cool. Alright, then we'll upgrade Isle Hearts. No, Grunberg, because this area is going to come under some pressure, probably, from the vampires. The nation called. Long have my people hunted yours for... And then we're going to need Purge the Fell, I think. Yeah, get Purge the Fell. I command here. Cool. Summon the elect account. Cool, that's all looking good. Yeah, it's not that expensive. 201's not that bad right now. Well, we won't keep it into the late campaign. Good amount of growth. That nah, costs too much. Are you planning to meet Wolfheart? It is not part of my plan, no. My plan in this campaign is firstly, get rid of Skull Smashers. That's done. Second part, get rid of the Vampire Accounts. That's not done. That's our next part. Then the third part of the plan to confederate all um, elect accounts is by creating a influence farm, which I've never done before. I've got an idea. Maybe using um, Teller Backland. We piss them off enough so they declare war on us. Then we blow up Krugenheim. Then Sterling comes and occupies Krugenheim. And then we tell them to give it back. And then rinse and repeat. I don't know if this works though. Uh, Max Chirico did a $5 super chat. My Skaven weapons teams have only 16 rats now. Well, 32 on an old save. But I can't find anything online about it. I was wondering if it was a bug or nerf. No, you just change your unit scale. So you go into graphics, advanced. Um, no. Yeah, yeah. Unit size ultra. It must have been put down to normal unit scale. If you uninstalled your game and then reinstalled it, that might have um, been the culprit. But thanks to the chat. Alright, I don't think we need anything else. Don't worry about growth there right now. No, mm. oh, 20 growth. It's not. Yeah, otherwise it's not going to grow. Greetings. Who seeks my wise counsel? So, let's have a look. Right. Marienburg like us a lot. Very well. Good. Good. See if I can get some money out of them. Only I will not obey. Cool. Eventually they might offer a defensive alliance, which I might accept, but we'll see. Middenland. Surely an agreement will be reached. But are we not all sons of Sigmund? Disagree with okay. that. Look. Welcome to Fair Bretonia. Never. Yes. Welcome, Ugh. my country. <laughs> bye bye, Ostermark. Doesn't look good for them. This is pretty common. I don't think I've ever had a campaign where Ostermike doesn't get wiped out. But before they go, might as well give me some money. No, I don't have any more. Um, Artois. Uh, maybe. Of men. Ask a peasant. Ugh, Leonis got destroyed. Oh well. Alright. Well, it's not under siege at the moment, but it looks like they lost their army. And Manfred is pretty tough. Pretty tough. Not that tough, though. Okay, let's move on. Don't you get the minus one authority for attacking your recently returned settlement? I don't know. I don't know. You you definitely get that if you are the one that returned the settlement, but if you demand somebody else to do that, I think you're in the clear. Doesn't Sterling secede if you do that too often? 
Like I said, I'm experimenting with something. I just don't know. Is Garsnick trait worth... Not worth farming for Volkmar or Gels? Nah. Nah. It's only ambush success and defense chance. I don't have time for that. I just wanted him out of the area. Alright, we're, we're pretty good for a prestige there. Alright, turn 20. I think we've done a lot for turn 20. This might actually be my strongest Empire campaign so far, but there's still things to do. Uh, could do Ambassador to the Karasan Corps, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I doubt they'll declare war on me. Um, let's have a look. So, Borderloo, you want to trade? I am no. the Bring me to my men. My orders are to move. Yeah, three mortars should do it. Relying heavily on you know, the fact that we'll probably do sieges. All right, they've captured that. It is good. Ready. All right, you. I want you to scout ahead. You don't need to be in this army. You're not providing any benefit right now. Scout ahead. I, I need to know what I'm going to be going up against. Get off this. Okay, that looks good. And then we yeah, we'll just see what we can see what we can find out there. Cool. Alright, what do we want to build in here? Uh Uber's Reich needs this, gives it walls and a bit of money. Money. Uh good amount of growth. Maybe I will develop this. We're not under any threat at the moment. None of the Bretonians are going to declare war on us. I already got rid of Karak Ziflin. Okay, I think I might be able to maintain it now. Okay, cool. And... Ready for trade? Yes. What about non-aggression pact? Do you know? Do you know? Welcome, friends. Ask a peasant. Nope. How do you plan to deal with Black Knight stacks? Uh, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> we'll see. Thing is, um, getting spearmen on very hard battle difficulty aren't any better against black knights than archers. So, what you want to do is if they've got a black knight stack, try to get them to occupy a walled city. Once they're inside the settlement, then you make the attack, and they're completely useless. So, try not to fight them on the field, basically. Okay. Move on. Could also benefit to have a second army as well. We've definitely got the finances for it. Attacked recently returned is on the list of negative authority. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I'm not 100% certain, though, that might bypass it. You, you've, do you you got to keep something in mind. CA are terrible at covering all their bases, okay? There's sometimes loopholes that you can exploit. What do you want of me? I have divined a path. Alright, we've essentially got a full stack now. Trespassing is not going to be that big of a deal since we got the, um, the thing. Make your offer. Not in my name. Oh, look at that. Vlad got, um... Oh, shit. Everland. Approach and make your offer. But I make no promise. Not in my name. Lost his capital. Does Franz not dare to come before me and... The Empire. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, upgrade this. I'll need to build walls here, I think. 
Got a good amount of money coming through. Ready. Kind of want to force march to here. I don't think anyone's going to attack me. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. Yeah, still get a little bit pissed, but it'll be okay. Okay, five grand left over. So, we can grab the Shrine of Sigma. Cool. Yeah, we just haven't met them yet. Recruit heroes to go meet the expedition? No, I'm not. Who cares about Marcus Wolfhart? It's like the least important thing to do right now. He doesn't provide any value to us. Who cares? Okay, let's just say hypothetically we, um... I'm not paying you any money for that. Uh, let's just say hypothetically we go and meet, um... Marcus Wolfhart, and we get a confederation. We got a split empire. Terrible idea to deal with right now. Okay, here we go. Um, stopping the war will give us Imperial Authority. Always go with Imperial Authority. Alright, we just got a Witch Hunter. Which is awesome. <laughs> what do we get? Yeah. Now. Oh yeah, we can use them to block armies, and we can get it to a 100% success chance with a little bit of finagling. Alright, let's have a look at this. Getting a little bit of lost reliability is not that big of a deal, but if we're going to attack him, then what we want to do is make sure we hit him where it hurts. Go for Tempelhof first. Right, you go Tempelhof and then straight to Drakenhof. Fucking cripples him. We travel the winds of Hish. I'll find this. All right, there's nothing there. Yes. Dosh there. All right, if we're going to force march down here to ensure that... Like, if I force march to here, I will definitely be able to make it to Tempelhof next turn. Now, if we do that, we got to make sure that there's no fucking armies waiting for us here. Should thy word distance. All right, he's got a big army down here. And an army at the moot. But it's only 11 units there. There's no way they can get from Grenstadt to up here. Even in Force March, it will take them too long. If they declare war on us. Um, because, yeah, if they do declare war on us, we're fucked. What? Otherwise, it's going to be another turn. Which isn't the worst thing. Okay, there's an army here. Military presence 20. Okay, from here, it can probably reach us. So, we should be a little bit more careful. Okay, even if that means taking an additional turn to get to Templehof, standing here, it's too close to being sandwiched between them. So, if I stand right here, I'm I'm less likely to get attacked, even if I don't go into ambush stance. Pick up the pace. Might be a good idea to go back on Deathclaw now. Just to deter them even further from declaring war. At least this gives me the opportunity to, to withdraw if they do attack. Is it time? Okay, we've got some money. Yep, upgrade Isle Heart. That's good. That's the last one of the tier 3 settlements there. Good. Decent growth. Uh, let's see. Yeah, getting iron would be good. Because that way we don't have to tax it. We can just get the iron from it. And let's see about trade agreements. Um, Bow before the rightful lords of the realm. I refuse. Who it is good to see fellow. I refuse. The Empire. No short lifers. It is always a pleasure. No evildoer <laughs> never <laughs> greetings. Who seeks uh, my dark diplomacy? Look, the lady grants you safe. You mewling fool. 
Never. Yes. Welcome, my countrymen. We cannot. King, let the supplicant come forward. It shall cool. be. You know, a little bit of money. Don't don't expect much out of them. Okay. Which race is the absolute worst of the Wood Elves, the vampires? Uh, no. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Everyone sucks against the Wood Elves. Probably Tomb Kings. Tomb Kings are not good at handling Wood Elves. Yeah, I'd say Tomb Kings. Or maybe Vampire Coast. Yeah, Vampire Coast. Vampire Coast suck against Tomb Kings. They've got a bunch of really squishy units that are stupidly slow. Uh, and their army is high damage, high speed, and stalking. Yeah, they basically direct counter Vampire Coast. Okay, this all looks pretty good here. Um, I guess we could upgrade this for a bit of extra growth. Uh, there's other money-based stuff that we might get. Yeah, even if I did Force March, I don't think we'd make, make it a Temple Hall. no other option. If we're lucky, I do not yeah, he's a worth Clan Ferric. If we're lucky, he'll go and ruin all this over here. All right, cool, and let's move on. Why not start with Needling to return to Sterling for one plus authority? No, 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 no. If I return that to uh, them personally, I'll actually only get one fealty. I need somebody else to go and take it. I am Karl Franz. Ooh. Now, here's the funny thing is, I can't offer that to them, but they can offer it to me. Now, getting this defensive alliance here will hopefully prevent other people from declaring war on me. But Legend, now you can't conquer Marienburg. <laughs> <laughs> as I've said many times before, capturing Marienburg is one of the dumbest things you can do in this game, as the Empire, in the early stages of the campaign. You can always backstab them later. Um, I'm running low on Imperial Authority, um, in Prestige. You should always make sure you've got more than a thousand, so we'll pay that. What? Let's go. Yes. Hunt them out. Mm-hmm. All right, looking at things over here. It's quite possible that Averland will lose to um, the Von Karstones. Losing one or two Elector Counts is not that big of a deal. My main target here is to fuck Manfred. I want to fuck him hard. <laughs> How's he doing? I haven't lost any Elector Counts yet. That's good. And of course, as soon as we declare war on him, he will just send all of his forces back over here, and it will relieve so much pressure. But if we take Templehof first... He won't have time to recover from it. So what we want to do... Try not to trespass on those other guys. Okay. From here, what we can do next turn is stand here, sack Fort Arbestire. Also, uh, take Templehof, so we get two battles out of it. Hurts the vampire counts. And then we're in earshot of Drakenhof, which, since we've got artillery, should not be a problem. I serve no master. All right, and you, if you steal... Nah, don't worry about that. I, I can't risk him getting wounded. The okay. So. And this guy here will, um... Will actually be really good for getting rid of, um, corruption. Really good. Okay, so I don't care if we don't get the trade. I don't worry about trade farming too much. All right, Grunberg, we need to wall it up. And, oh, I didn't get the growth building, the other growth building. Um, yeah, the last thing we want is Manford coming over this way. Which he may do. That. Mm-hmm. All right, all that seems fine. This is not urgent, just save up the money. Alright, so we declare war on Manfred next turn, which is perfectly timed, because this will run out. That way we don't lose any reliability. Alright, looking at this stuff again, see if we get some more trade agreements. So, it is good to see fellows. We cannot. 
How dare you not trade with me? Hail, fellow nation of I will not. The greetings. Who seeks my wife? Those who displease me. What? Welcome, friends. Honestly, why do we even bother? <laughs> just don't bother. Pegasus for the wizard. Didn't I switch it? Okay, it doesn't matter for this turn, but I'll, I'll remember to switch it for next turn. Can you still reach Drakenhof if you didn't get the extra movement follower? I don't know, but I've got both of the extra movement followers, so I should be able to reach. Yeah, did we not put him on a um So Oh you're right I didn't. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we got more than enough movement. So what we do, we stand here. Make haste, men. And then we can't join a war because Imperial diplomacy is silly. Here we go. Is it time? Can probably just auto resolve this. I don't think it's going to take much damage. Yeah, nothing. Sack it. And then Prince Temple Hoth, which we definitely should fight manually, but it'll be nice and easy. Who calls? I command here to war. Yeah, we want to make sure we take absolute minimal casualties here. Order resolve, even though it says low, it, it, it can be really unreliable. You're going to use Volkmar to command army, or is it not worth it? Yeah, I usually have Volkmar command an army, but you can't get him until you reach tier 4. Disciplined. Disciplined for the Empire is not that big of a deal. Ooh, melee attack for archers. So useful. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Ready for war. Wait, I line this up just right. We won't take that much damage from the towers. Okay, cool. No cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we'll get rid of that pretty quick. This is why getting them extra ranks is really important, so they get that accuracy, but also um, reload rate. Because their reload rate's pretty slow. Okay, cool. That's the only thing we need to worry about. Alright. Is it better to start with Thorgrim or Grumbrindle? I think it's better to start with Grumbrindle. His uh, bonuses are way more useful than um, Thorgrim's. And it's possible to get a really good start with uh, Grumbrindle. That's not really possible with Thorgrim, where you can take out um, the Black Crag really quickly. It's a good technique that uh, Mercy the Mad made a video on, which I did in a, a live stream and it worked out really well. Ta even though we didn't wipe out Grimgore straight away, taking Black Crag by like turn 10 
is so good. Because one thing, you deprive him of his Black Orc recruit area. You seriously reduce his income. And it gives you a lot of money. Which is always good. Since gold and gems are worth tons for the uh, dwarves. Map choices in Lore of Magic wise, which faction has the best cast of heroes in your opinion? Uh... Don't know. Shit. Stupid butthole fucking bats! Stop damaging my freaking borders! It's okay. We can recover from that in one turn so far. Come on. <laughs> okay, that wasn't ideal, but it, we're, we're okay. We're okay. Worst of that's over. in the archers and we should finish this off pretty quick. Alright. Carl Franz should go take out this wizard before yeah he spirit leeches us even more. Cool. Alright, I'm pretty sure we'll recover to full in one turn. See if we had order resolved it, what I was concerned about was that the melee infantry here would just get absolutely nuked in the order resolve. Even though this one here took some damage, we should have 50% replenishment, so as long as I don't get attacked over the end turn, we should be back up to full strength. Maybe I should have water resolved it, I don't know. It's hard to tell us, it's not super reliable. We don't have an army that's good in auto resolve because we've only got a couple of melee units. They tend to get nuked in auto resolve in this situation. Okay, we can loot and occupy. We can sack and occupy. It's going to revolt anyway, but we may not want it to happen right away. Yeah, just do it anyway. I need money. Brass Cleaver is Summon not the that important for us right now. Okay, let's grab that. And yeah, uh, we don't fully replenish. Uh, that's okay. Maybe I should have auto-resolved it. Oh, well, get rid of this yep. rubbish. Uh, actually... Pistol is. Hmm. A pistol is stack can actually be quite good against um, the vampire counts. Because yeah, he usually recruits a whole bunch of. Um, this, of uh, black knights. Alright, let's get walls up in here. Get that defenses. I think I'll get rid of this. Get rid of it. Um, yeah, but we'll be fine. Alright, I need this guy over here. Sooner the better. So that he can start providing untainted. Another thing that we can do to really benefit us is to recruit another arch lector. Like a new one. And grab Blessed Holy War, which is going to increase our Untainted plus two all characters. If we have a look over here at the moment, right, we can see that we are providing five Untainted. 
So this should actually provide an additional four because we've got two characters there. Alright. So we recruit him. And now it should be nine. Bring me to my men. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and that's permanent increase for their untainted. And this guy here will bring it up by even more. Summon the Elector Counts. Uh, that's really good. Okay. What next? So yeah, just leave that for now. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, we're pretty good for um money. Hey, they went and occupied that. Good job. Welcome, my country. Because <laughs> that's Kislev. I don't care about them. Usually by this time, uh, Manfred is a bloody Wolfenberg. So this is good. That's his only major city. We take that out. He's limited to tier three, so uh, tier three units. Well, Commissar Adrian did a hundred dollar super chat. I've been a long time viewer and thought I would show my appreciation. Thanks for the content. Now back to waiting for IE for Warhammer three. All right, thanks, dude. That was super generous of you. Appreciate that. That is OP in IE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be yeah, because yeah, you can get the stuff down to zero. All right, we can upgrade that. We got heaps of money now. What's going on here? Bow before the rightful lords of the realm, and I'll uh, hear your demands. Uh, okay, whatever. Born to command. As soon as I get a defensive alliance with Marienburg, <laughs> they fall to pieces. Come on, man, get them off your back. You can do it. Ah, oh, it's only a small military. They must have gotten wrecked and taken that. That's whatever. Gonna have to get walled up here before they show up. I think what we'll do next turn is recruit another arch lector here and just recruit a few units that can we, we can handle rebellions. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, we should be okay to build a little bit of this. Oh, hang on. What about what about these technologies? That's definitely good, but what about... Now, we're not going to meet the Phoenix King just yet. Purge the knife ears now. Uh, no, I don't really need that. Soon. I'm not really too concerned about the dwarfs. They're unlikely to declare war on us. What? Approach us, friend. We cannot. Honor. Hail. Nation of I they just do not want to fucking trade, do they? Welcome to Fair Britain. Never. No. All right. All right. Moving on. Recruit the horses to fight the dogs and black knights. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I might do that with uh, the next army that I recruit. Oh, I did demolish it, didn't I? Nah, it doesn't matter. What's the first rate you would move from the game? I wouldn't remove any race from the game. Oh god, what's he doing? That seems a bit short-sighted, Manfred. <laughs> Need the money. Good, good. Kick them out of here. Nicely done. What's over here? Eh, half a stack. It is good to see good. fellow sons of Yeah, the take out those fucking dark elves there. And then, yep, we got more than enough movement to get here. There's no... Oh, there is a small military prep. No, it's 16 units. No, wait. It's 12. Shit, I don't know where it is. Seek out the heretics. Now. Could be a Waldenhof. I, I need to know where it here. is. 
Even if it means we don't have a wizard, I need to know where it is. Onwards for Hish. I have divined a path. Preparing rites of exorcism. Never. Yeah, see, this is why it's important to attack their armies while they're in the city, because that could be a really strong army. It could be a piece of shit army, right? But there's nothing sitting inside Drakenhof. Taking this out, and there's no counterattack happening here. Krugenheim has... 13 units in there. But what if that's got a whole bunch of really good units? It's going to be super man. easy to get rid of them this way. Will. Sure, we could have gotten Drakenhof. Eh, it wasn't, but it's still important to take out because this will be easy to deal with now. No peace, just war. I serve no master. This will help. Okay, that's good. Alright, public order here is absolute dog shit. So what we want to do is recruit... Noble. Okay, I'll get you. Turn about Regal. I serve Sigma. And we want, of course, Blessed Holy War. True servant of Sigma. And build this, which will give us access to Gotrick and Felix. Men, war calls. Why the hell would Manfred declare war on Hockland right now? We're about to get fucked. Alright. I gotta remember to uh, keep track of those bats when they come in. Hopefully the wall building remains, but it doesn't matter if we, you know, lose the settlement right after taking it. Trying to do a no-defeat campaign can be a bit of a pain. Not worth it, but we'll see. Thoughts on Empire Crossbowmen? Yeah, they're good. I would replace them if I could uh, capture a settlement that's actually got a barracks. I would replace them. We've got the money for it, I just need the barracks. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, best if the wizard takes the damage. Because uh, it's smaller target, be harder to hit, and also Carfrance might need to go into melee. What does Lightning Strike do aside from letting one army not engage? Um, it reduces the enemy leadership by 5, but also reduces your fatigue resistance by a bit. The game doesn't tell you about that though. So yeah, your units will get tired faster if you Lightning Strike. That's why you lose auto resolve power when you Lightning Strike sometimes. So if you've got really high experienced units and you Lightning Strike, because your units already have loads of um, fatigue resistance, it sort of negates the penalties from Lightning Strike. But yeah, it's, it's really, really subtle. I didn't know about it until recently. Cool. Alright, maybe this time, as we're bringing up the mortars, bring these guys up as backup. I think Manfred was declared war and he didn't do the declaring. Oh, actually... Oh, Hockland declared war? Okay, that actually makes a lot more sense then. <laughs> that actually makes a lot more sense. Thanks, dude. Alright. Yeah, I just want to get rid of Manfred, hopefully by, like, turn 30, so that I can then focus on Delicious Isabella. Okay, you need to go. You can't be doing that to me.
Okay, that didn't really trade off too well there. But yeah, I just don't want to get spirit leeched like crazy. Maybe I should have put... Oh, hang on, here we go, here we go. Shit. <laughs> Stop being clever, how dare you. Yeah, in a one-on-one -on -one duel, Carfran easily beats the shit out of him, but when other units get in the way, it can be a bit of a problem. Oh no you don't, don't you dare get away. Come on, Car- Come on! Oh, you fucking moron! Yeah, he just derped out. Back up on the wall. Illumination upon them. Light wizard. All right, stop that. And maybe bomb a little bit there. I think. All right, good. She come back up on the wall. Seems like whenever I leave the area, she comes back up. Oh, she's going back. Alright, once we get rid of her, we can just plow him into the... Whatever. So I mentioned, put him into zombies. For regen, but we gotta get rid of this one first, or else we'll just keep spirit leeching him, which will just be annoying. Oh, come on, Carl. What the fuck? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, take her out. There we go. Now you can go fight some garbage zombies and get some regen. Right, we got to get rid of the um, Crypt Ghouls because they can actually do a fair bit of damage. Yeah, if we just bomb this area here, that'd be fine. Even if uh, the odd hit, odd, sh odd shot does hit Carl France, it's fine. Good. Yeah, he's getting some regen. That's good. Okay, don't be fighting the Grave Guard there, that's not a good idea. Come on, up. Good boy. Oh 
over here where there's just garbage zombies. Alright, let's grab all of these, start bringing them up here. Uh, what are you, what are you, no, 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 don't be an idiot. No, what are you doing? Does Carl have a seat of rebirth? Yes, he does. Alright, Carl can just have a bit of a rest now. Alright, let's maybe try to go get rid of those Crypt Horrors. Cool, that was good. Alright, they've still got a Lord over here. I think it's just some... Oh no, it's a Strigoi. Okay, I thought it was a Necromancer. No big deal. Did we get Isabella's trait? No, it's not possible for us to have Isabella's trait yet because it's not turn 30. It's like turn 24? Something like that. It's too early. Because, yeah, Isabella won't show up until turn 30. Which is why we're focusing on Sylvania first, and then we'll worry about the Von Karsteins, because they're less of a threat and much higher of a reward. Alright, we'll see about hitting that Strigoi. Probably a little bit obstructed, but they're doing decent damage because he doesn't have much um, armor. Does have some physical resistance though. How hard do you plan to trait farm her? It's really difficult to trait farm Isabella because as soon as you get her to show up and beat her once, everybody just dog piles on her. So you usually end up having to besiege her last settlement until until everybody else around you is dead or confederated, which takes forever. So we'll just have to wait and see. If we can get Carl Franz as a trait, then that's good enough. It doesn't matter if anybody else gets it. Because in the past I've managed to spend lots and lots of resources in trying to keep her alive. And it just not end up being worth it. Like, it's a good trait. Really, really good one, but we, you don't need it. Except for maybe Carl Franz, because he's always going into melee. Same thing with Gelt. He doesn't always go into melee, but he's always getting shot. What's Manfred's defeat trait? Reduced corruption damage from um, attrition from vampire corruption. It's not very good. Yeah, only shit players can really make use of it because if you're a good player, you know how to avoid the attrition. Just hop from city to city. And even then, the attrition's usually not that bad. But yeah, it's not a good trait. If it reduced it by 100%, that'd be a different story, but 50% is not a big deal. Because part of the problem with attrition is that if you're taking even 1% attrition, you can't get any replenishment. And that's where it hurts you the most. It's not that it does lots of damage, it's that it prevents you from replenishing. Alright, next batch. Come.
The wizard is hitting himself with the banishment on the gatehouse. Oh, okay. It wouldn't have done much damage, but get him out of there. It does fuck all damage to single entities. Yeah, it doesn't matter in the slightest, really, if he hits himself. Okay, some garbage zombies over here for Carl Franz to go and fight for regen. Cool. Let's get that health up. Is there a limit on trait legendary lords can have? Yeah, I think it's 10. You can't get any more than 10. I've, I've never seen anyone get more than 10 defeat traits. If someone wants to show evidence of you having 11, I'm more than happy to see it, but I don't think I've ever been able to get more than 10. I know Creative Assembly did say something along the lines of they didn't want people to go around like getting 20 defeat traits, which is why they put a limit on it, which... I don't know why they do that. Just let the player decide what they want to fucking do. Don't restrict that kind of shit. The only reason you should be restricting that kind of stuff is if there's a data overflow problem. But yeah, I don't know why CA does that crap. Let the player decide how they want to play a single player. Don't fucking hold their hand. Especially considering that their designed gameplay, what they want people to play usually, is pretty stupid. They hate fun. Yeah. Let the player decide how they want to play. You know, their best games are the Total War games that have multiple different play styles for every faction that you can play. And their worst Total War games are the ones that pigeonhole you into one play style. Like Rome 2. As an example. Uh, Alright. That's all their infantry, so let's get our guys up on the wall and try to lure these guys over here. It might be a good idea to use Shem's Burning Gaze to try to get rid of the Vargeists. Tibet spell sucks. What's room to one playstyle? Basically heavy infantry. Yeah, if you're playing on higher difficulties um, in Rome 2, there's a lot of units that are just... It's all very samey. Like, 90% of the units are heavy infantry, but the other units become totally useless. Not totally useless, but next to useless compared to heavy infantry. Nothing quite like sending my, you know, tier 5 cavalry to cycle charge Oath Sworn for two hours to get it to rout. Anyway, let's not get started on another Rome 2 rant. <laughs> Ooh, 
There we go. Cool. Got him. One question. When you farm knowledgeable trait with heroes, should you keep them for plus five magic or you can disband them? If you disband them, then you lose the plus five magic. <coughs> Thanks for super chat. Wait, you didn't super chat. <laughs> Whatever. 90% sure the banishment can hit the fill bats. Yeah, but it doesn't do much damage to monsters. The Vargas have regen? No. Pikes are good because the AI in room 2 is retarded as well. Yeah, yeah, Pikes, Pikes are good. Yeah, for sure. <coughs> Pikes are, Pikes kind of go into the heavy infantry category. Alright, so probably best we just occupy this. We don't want to cause a revolt until Summon we get to thingy. Do we get to keep the nah. good, we got to keep the defenses, nice. Nice. And that will. What did, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For Men of Amatok. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, we hurt them a little bit. Didn't really make that much of a difference. Protector of the weak. Alright. Let's recruit some garbage. Cool. This campaign's going really nicely. Getting a bit tired though. Oh, we had six hours. Yeah, it's alright. We'll go a bit longer. Alright, at Connell's, we should probably build money. I don't feel like it's going to come under attack right now. Uh, yeah, we need to get that developed because that army there. Oh, shit, where are their other forces? Oh, okay, if it says military presence 13, that means there's actually 26 units. There's an army here and an army here. Okay, cool. I just wasn't sure where they were. Approach us, friend. Hmm, okay. So that's useful against vampire counts. What else do we need to do? Grain silos? Nah, it's not that useful. Um, this is good. That's really good there. This one here is not that useful, but that's really good. Uh, did we ever end up getting any students? I, command here. I know I haven't been paying any attention to it, but let me just check. Nah. It wouldn't have made much difference anyway. Praise be to Sigma. Yep, all of this seems fine. In fact, we probably could do the battle for the Silver Seal. Because it's a fairly easy battle. And with no chance of being attacked over the end turn. This will also help us get rid of the untainted in the area. Or get rid of the, the taint, I mean. So, all I gotta do here is stand out and teleport. Mm, bit damaged. But it is an easy battle. Yeah, it is an easy battle. Yeah, it should be fine. I'm fairly sure we selected the right course where they don't get reinforcements. 
Because, yeah, the two options that you get, one of them they get reinforcements, the other one they don't. Although, I'm not entirely sure. Might be a good idea to actually move over to here. Because usually I just stand here. We hunt this day, yet our quarry is neither boar nor deer. No, we pursue the undead. The witch hunters bring word that a vampire crone makes haste for Stirland with the silver seal in her clutches. I charge you, brave men, with not letting that vampiress get to Sylvania. For we know she is a puppet. Her strings are pulled by that cursed wretch, Von Karstein. Now, men, chase her down. Return to me what is mine, and send these von Karstein beasts a message. By taking her head, we have brought her to bay at the center of a forsaken temple, siphoning off ill magics to power her dread spells. Have no doubt. Surround the crone, slay the creature before she can summon her minions. By order of the Grand Theogenist, show no mercy. I reckon the guy did um, Carl Franz is probably one of the better voice actors. Like, they're all good, but one of the better voice actors for um, Total War Warhammer. They got two. F Is that normal? Ready hmm. for war. I'm gonna go and smack them. Empire voice actors are good. Yeah, like the Empire captains. <laughs> the Empire captain voice acting is pretty shit. Alright, as long as we don't do any magic to them. They can't land. Right, Ugh, how dare you! Ready. Moving faster. Illumination upon them. I am prepared. For the Empire. Okay, I don't really like how much damage Carl Franz has taken despite all the buffs they gave him. With two vampires there, that's not good. Get out of there. 22. Alright, look, you got 2,000 health. We got this one out over here. I just wanted to come and help as well. Taking out these wizards will really help. They might focus on the wizard instead. No, uh, no, Carl Franz got hit, but we almost killed her. That doesn't count as magic damage. Come on, one more hit. You can do it. Good. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Alright, 1,700 health remaining. On this one here, 2,900. Okay. Oh, well, they're, they're coming at us now. With only one remaining, it's a bit bit iffy, but these vampires are not as good of a fighter as Carl Franz, and plus with all the, these buffs and debuffs, he should be okay against this. Oh, uh, let's say Spirit Leech, that's different. Ooh, he's damaged. Illumination upon them. 
upon them. I am prepared. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to use them again this battle, I think. Or if on the side... No, no, that's a grave card. No, 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 no. Actually, this could work. This could work. If I land here, there's one behind us, right? So what we do is land and then just run away. Try to get the Hex Race to chase after us. It just buys us a bit of time. Spread out their army. Here you go. Have one of these. Uh, that wasn't the... It's too late now. Yeah, that was a shit cast. Now, if Carl friends, sorry, if the Rux are going to have to fight the Hex race, they will 100% get their ass handed to them. Carl friends got magical attacks. Oh, I can't risk him taking any more fucking damage. Oh. A lot of ghosts in this army. Need more magical attacks. Get over here and you should use the Hell of Discord. What are you doing? Discord, torment the sword. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Good. Carl's doing a good job there. He didn't get hit by the Banshee. And he essentially took out that Banshee pretty quick. Yep, he didn't get hit. Nice, nicely done. This guy here is taking a bit too much damage. Uh, pin that down. Can you get rid of this lord? Uh, that could backfire. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Risk good for the biscuit, get rid of it. Okay, no, it actually went well. Went well then. Moving now. Yes, General. Right, army losses. We're good. No, you just got wiped out. We're fine. Oh shit, that one's close. Cool. Did you nab the artillery from enemy? No, I recruited that. The handgunner's regiment of an had magic attack? Yeah, it did. Uh, didn't need it though. We, we only took a little bit of damage. Cool, and I'll take the money. Yes, to unite the provinces. Alright, so what did that take off? Oh, the... Uh, seed of Rebirth. I command here. Oh, well. Alright, what do we need? Need ammunition. Don't worry about making him a stronger fighter. I need to make my army better. Bring me to my men. Okay, yes, you can have your immortality. I don't want to lose any of these items. Alright, what do we got here? Charmed shields. None of these items are particularly good. I'll go with that. I don't intend to send him into melee, so giving him the seat of rebirth is silly. Uh, that's alright. Okay. I don't expect to get attacked over the end turn because all of their forces are over here. I trust no man. Greetings, manlings. Are you? We'll we'll see about that.
Oh, there's even more forces over here. All oh, right, because we teleport over here. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, if that's no. if that's six units here, that means there's a full stack sitting over here. Okay. That's that probably where Manfred stuck. is. Come then. All right, good. Yeah, he'll never get back in time to stop us here. But they might be able to get to Grunberg. I'm a little bit concerned about that, because I don't have any intel out this way. And I don't have... Oh, I can get a warrior priest. Alright, we'll recruit a warrior priest to send him to scout ahead, just so that I know. If anyone's coming over here, I can just recruit a bunch of regiment of renown or something. How's it going with guilt, anyway? He's at 8. Okay. Alright, and let's move on. To save up that money, I'm sure we'll need it for other things soon. Uh-huh. Okay, let's move on. Why you keep the rock, Scott? I will probably get rid of it soon. It's only turned 25. Well, 26 now. Do you think they'll feature Nagash in Wormer 3? Yes. Karak Kedrin declares war on Sylvania. Nice. Bone Rattlers declares war on Karak Kedrin. Nice. Ah, uh, my Witch Hunter. Uh, yeah, we're, we're good for money. Send a military force. Cool, we can just auto this. Cool. A successful sortie. Oh. Was that my fucking? Please, Peter Sigma. No. <laughs> this is thinking, was that my bloody uh, high level um, huntsman that they just killed off there? Summon the Elector Counts, protector of the weak. Oh, we're actually maintaining public order. All right, keeping an eye on stuff over here. Military presence of thirteen. Yeah, so that means nothing has changed over there. Uh, I did see somebody was asking, how did I, how could I tell that there was 20 units over here? Okay, there's a way to check to see, um, it's sort of like scouting your head, but it's really inaccurate, but you can get an idea, right? Do you see military presence 13? Okay, so the mathematical equation for it is that the number of settlements that they own, they need two units, doesn't matter if they're damaged or whatever, but two units sitting in that settlement in order to make one public order. So if they've got four settlements and they need four units, right? So if they have 13 military presence, but they own um, two settlements, then they have to have 25 or 26 units garrisoned inside of the settlement. So if we can see if one region has six units sit into it, then you know that there is either 19 or 20 units sitting in that other settlement. That's how you know. Okay, it might be better if this guy here attacks Eschen, and then Karl Franz might just be able to make it to Drakenhof. I serve Sigma. Heldenhammer. Shit. <laughs> I need one extra move point. If I can get that one extra move point. Uh, okay, how are we going to do that? You stand there. I am Prince and Emperor. I command here. No, that didn't get it. No. 
Out of the way, boy. Bring me to my men. Nope. Pick up the pace. We travel the winds of Hish. The nation calls. Got it. Men, war calls. What do you want of me? This will help. All right. Well, that. Uh... That siege can be done tomorrow, I think. Uh, we're at six and a half hours in the stream. It's been a good stream, but I don't want to get too exhausted too early, or else um, we'll end up running out of puff by the end of the attack. week, which is kind of what happened last week a little bit. Got a bit tired. Um, so far, super strong campaign. This might be my strongest Reichland campaign ever, so far at least. Uh, the thing is, things can go belly up really quickly. Um, if we have a look here, we have forts. 34 battles. I have yet to suffer a defeat. We've had a couple of close calls. We took out the Skull Smashers early and we're about to fuck Manfred. Um, taking Castle Drakenhof away from him cripples his finances. Even with all of his cheats, he might struggle to gain a foothold out this way. Especially considering he didn't get Wolfenberg. He hasn't taken Beckerven yet. And uh, this might give us an opportunity to um, plow down on, on them. But we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Alright, let's go chuck a host over to somebody. And then we will continue this tomorrow. So, the viewership has been awesome today. So, if we can keep this up, I'm happy to keep this going for the entire week. Or even more. Depends on what you guys want. But yeah, if we do 26 turns per stream, <laughs> then by turn 100, we uh, sorry, uh, day 4, we'll have reached turn 100. Alright, let's have a look here. Who should we chuck a host over to? All right, let's chuck it over to Mercy the Mad, who's doing a Cetra campaign today. Yeah. All right, here's a link to Mercy the Mad. Go and check him out. I'm going to go get some rest because I'm buggered. Um, really enjoy this campaign so far. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. Um, appreciate you, and we'll see you tomorrow.